We are back at it. Into Morrowind. Oh man, do we finish the main quest tonight? That's the main question. The main quest is the main question. <laughs> I like how that, that uh, sentence worked out. That was very nice. Uh, Larry and the Boys 4. On our fourth string of prophecy, you know, you got to have multiple threads in case... Uh, in case something goes wrong in the in the coffee nut multiverse, yeah, you always gotta have a backup plan. Okay, we're 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 not even using this microphone. Why is this one out? <laughs> All right, where did we leave off? I think we left off with one more citadel to do uh, before. Oh, out walking the dog. Nice. Well, I hope uh, I hope you have a nice night, Structo. Uh, you know. Hope it's not raining on you. And I also hope you had a good day, my man. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Citadel Viminal. I discovered the artifact Sunder, one of the enchanted tools. Nice. Uh, what kind of dog do you have, Destructo? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's a mix, right? I'm pretty sure it's a mix. All right, um... Well, let's let's grab a quick save right outside, <laughs> and uh, I'll try and go back to uh, using spells. We we got a we got a little heat last night from uh, Don't Cry Wolf because we were smashing everything with our mallet. Lahasa Apso Shitsu Mix, very nice, dude. That sounds that sounds like a cool dog. That sounds that sounds pretty interesting. I don't know how that would uh, play out. I guess does it look more like a Shih Tzu or more like a Lots of opso. Because, you know, sometimes you see mutts. Or, not mutts, but mixed dogs, and they lean one way or the other. Alright, let's 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 see what we got here. Oh, Golden Saint. Oh, boy. Okay, let's uh, summon a Daedra. Oh, man. Yeah, we're end game now. <laughs> now the Golden Saints aren't just coming from our scrolls. They're actually spawning and trying to kill us, which is very nice. Oh god, there's the guy. Okay. Well, the Golden Saint fell. Okay, well, there's the guy we need to kill, so... Let's, let's deal with the Golden Saint first, though. I think he's just going to pathfind himself and uh, we'll keep walking into a wall. Uh, he looks more like a Shih Tzu. I'll post a picture of him in the Discord. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Our, you know, our Discord is significantly lacking in the dog pictures department. Uh, we, need, we need to up those numbers. And I, it sounds like you're just the man for the job. All right, so Golden Saint. Holy shit. All right. Oh, yeah, it's going to reflect on us. Uh. Alright, what do we try and do here? Maybe try and stun it? Oh, it paralyzed us. Uh, we may just be dead here. Yeah, with 30, <laughs> 30 seconds of paralysis, if it, if it can't kill us. You know, it, it, it needs to sort some things out. We're going to get the hearth heal ready in case we live. Oh god. Dude, 30 seconds feels like an eternity <laughs> when you're freaking paralyzed. <gasps> oh yeah, we're dead. Okay, so so note to self, don't don't use the amulet cuz they have such a high reflect chance. I always forget about that. Take 2. <laughs> Although we have sunder, so I guess we can just do the mallet smashing route. Uh, that's also a good, a good choice. Definitely a good choice. All right, get our night eye on. All right, let's get the cephalopod helmet rocking. So we we just need him to attack the uh, Daedra, and then we should be able to use Sunder on it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this approach. Oh yeah, this is working much better. <laughs> smashy smashy might not be wolf approved, but I'm for it. I think that's our only course of action here. 
I mean, I mean, it's it's incredibly it's incredibly enchanted. If if this isn't a a wizardly weapon, then I don't know what is, man. I mean, come on, Gandalf. Gandalf used a longsword, and he's like the wizard to beat, you know. All right, we got it. <laughs> smashy, smashy, uh, <laughs> smashy, smashy worked beautifully, actually. Th thank you for your support, Destructo. Thank you for your support. We got we, you know, just just don't cry. He's just a hater. <laughs> Needs to watch more Lord of the Rings. Uh, Night Eye. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> you have to put your blunt weapon level up for the game, and I am a hater. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. What's going on? Don't cry. Welcome back. Hope you had a good day, my man. Hope you didn't uh, have a. Uh, hope you didn't ride yourself thin today. I know you said you were you were getting pretty exhausted. Um, let's get an. Uh, okay, let, let's actually quick save. Also, MCA, welcome, welcome back. Hope you had a good day, my man. Hope you had a good day. Let's grab a heal because the other Dagoth guy is right over there. He's right in front of us. Uh, I just woke up and ate two veggie burgers. There you go. There you go. You know, veggie burgers are a nice, um, are a nice way to break it up. I was trying to cast Night Eye and I used the wrong spell. <laughs> Have you tried? Has anyone in chat tried the Impossible Burger? I mean, I gotta say, that thing's actually really good. Oh, it doesn't have enough charge. Oh god. Um, oh god. What do we do? We could do a Golden Saint, but I think we may just uh, use an Atronach. I rolled 60 miles in the wind today and it sucked. Ouch. Uh, trying to see if you should ride another 25. <laughs> hey man, uh, whatever whatever you th whatever you think uh, will do it for you. Okay, so we were able to paralyze the other guy. Oh god, he has an Atronach too though. Okay, we got the par paralyzed. Oh, we need to heal through that. DOT. Damage over time. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Ooh, now no, I want to so bad. Destrucco, keep your keep your eyes out for it. If if uh if you get a chance, it's actually really good. I had it when I was on vacation last. I gotta say, it, it really surprised me. Oh god, we're uh, taking more, more damage. Do we have a restore? If we have a restore health, I would feel a lot better because all this guy's doing is damage over time. Also, uh, <laughs> also, don't cry. I I took your, uh, took your advice from yesterday and just decided to uh, whew, soul trap the other guy too. So now we have two uh, $72,000 scrolls. Hey you, day was alright. Got 300 words done. There you go. There you go. Um, waiting for input from other people before writing the next piece. Named our newest baby kitten last night. Oh, dude. That's awesome. What did you what did you uh what'd you name it? Okay, we got a key to something. Also, I mean you can't you can't bring up a, a new baby kitten and uh not throw it in the, a picture of it in the Discord, I'm just saying. <laughs> Destrucco's got me thinking about pets now. Everybody's talking about dogs and cats. Oh lord. Her name's Penelope Min, and Penny for short. Aw, oh, that's a that's a adorable name. Alright, let's see if the door was down here. I can't remember if it was down here upstairs. <laughs> Soul trap all of Morrowind. You know what? Don't cry. It's a not a bad idea. It's a great way to make money. It's a great way to make money. I'm so happy that we got uh, this Soul Drinker blade, so we don't even have to cast a spell. We just have to land one hit. If we can land one hit, which we can usually do, 
Not all the time, but usually. Uh, I was ahead of you. Already had the URL in chat. Oh, nice. Great, great minds think alike, dude. Great minds think alike. All right, so we used his key. We got in here. What are we looking for in here? Because I don't think that we picked it up off his body. Uh, Sunder from there and Keening. Okay, we're looking for Keening. Uh, that's Claymore. That's a battle axe. <laughs> Coffee's Discord is now all pit pictures all the time. Dude, I would not be upset at all if, if that's what it has to come to. All right, bring it on. Ooh, take the Dwemer coins always. It's just easy money. Okay, that goes to the tower. That may be where it is. Okay, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm surprised that. Uh, I'm surprised that this keeps going. I guess we have to go to the tower, even though that's where not. That's not where Dagoth was. Oh, is that it? Okay. Hello. We have the final piece. The final piece of the puzzle. The sword, Keening. Um, jump, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, what does this do? Fortify Magicka, 50 points. Fortify Health, 30. Attack, 30. Agility, 20. And freaking... Oh my god. Dude, that is disgusting. And this is uh, attack strength. Does the other one do strength? Keening? No, okay. Alright, well we're going to keep Sunder on... Uh, so that we are not over encumbered, even though I like the Fortify Magicka better. Oh, these are all statues. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's go down. <laughs> um, okay, what do we do here? I think... Do we, do we go to Dagoth? Do we go straight to Dagoth, everyone? Or, uh... I mean, we at least need to make a stop in a city first before fighting him because I don't want to I don't want to be over encumbered when we you know fight the main uh, the main villain all right I think what I do is I think I mark here and then uh, we go home go home <laughs> I think I mark here and then we go to the next town and um sell some of our stuff, get rid of some of our stuff, and then come back. Come back fully, fully loaded. Ready for battle. <laughs> uh, I got the face of the god helm, by the way. That mission was legit. Dude, what mission was it? Also, does the helmet look good? Because I remember you, uh, I remember you mentioned that, saying it looked like Vivek, right? There's a lot of good armor in this game. Like, there's a lot of armor that really stands out. Oh, you failed casting the spell. Oh, you don't have enough magicka. Can we rest? Okay, we can get a rest off. And and how close to Vivek does it look, I guess, is my next question. Alright, so we got our mark down. Let's Alm CD out of here. Go go drop some weight. We're we're pretty over and not over encumbered, but we're close. We're pretty close. Uh, back to Alderoon. <laughs> I've just been dumping my dumping my goods on these people. These poor people. It's a traitor, isn't it? Yeah. What do I have for Let's him? Do some business, shall we? I think I have some random Dwemer stuff, right? Some Daedra hearts, yeah. Daedra hearts. Um, oh, I got all these soul gems. These are that's eight pounds right there. Eight pounds of soul gems. <laughs> Uh, we'll get we'll give him a, a little bit of a discount. Wait, wait, so he gets his money back. Uh, you find a tomb on an island, then it just gets better. It's actually south of Sadrith Mora. Okay. 
So it's uh, like a dungeon quest, you know, not like a go here, talk to this person, then uh, get the quest kind of kind of gig. Amulet of Hearthiel. Uh, fortify strength, fortify hand to hand, levitate shield. I mean, that's kind of nice. Amulet of heart fire is more our speed, though. Uh, just for the fortify unarmor and chameleon. So maybe we drop this off at the Mages Guild, where we've been putting all our other stuff. Oh, yeah, and we have a 28 pound ebony spear. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Getting rid of the ebony spear will help a lot. Uh, you definitely need your lock picking skills or magic up there. I think there were several locks at 100. Um, okay. Thankfully, I do have a custom made lock picking spell uh, that that is uh, open 100. Come on. May I? Thankfully, you know, ma mages are busted. We don't even have to train for it. <laughs> <laughs> you just get to you just get to open everything. How about sharing the wealth? I've lots to show you. Excuse me, please. There we go. <laughs> he was about to not let me through. All right, let's uh let's put this in here. What else can I leave? I can leave hearth eel. Yeah. We'll put this one away. All right, 40 pounds. I think 40 pounds is enough. Um, or maybe I go to the Creeper real quick, get rid of the Tower Shield. Did I use my Golden Saint Scroll? That's another good question. Okay, no, I didn't. All right. All right, we're, we're going to get rid of this real quick and then, and then continue on. Because I, I can just recall from Caldera, so it's not even going to take me another another trip. I kind of just want to kill that guy so he doesn't talk to me and not block the stairs, dude. Isn't he annoying? And it's always him. It's no one else. It's literally always just that guy. I'm like, I'm like can, can you just like stand literally anywhere else in this entire building? Because that'd be great. That'd be great. I remember yesterday I, I had to uh I had to console command past him. I was like, come on man. Yeah, he's always on the freaking stairs. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's get rid of this shield and then recall. There we go. Really? He won't even take 30 gold. There we go. I'd take eight though. Alright. Back. Back to the wilds. Um, recall. Here we go. All right, guys. We got we got Dagoth Ur over yonder, waiting for us. Oh, who who's just? No. <laughs> like the Nereverine has to use these stairs too, asshole. Am I right? And like I'm the Nereverine. You know who are you? Who are you? I mean, I don't want to, don't want to sound superior or anything, but one person is going to save the world, and the other is just going to stay inside the Eldrin Mages Guild his entire life. So, I mm. <laughs> think you should open the stairs, friend. All right, Cliff Racer down. Let's uh, let's try not to revert to the mallet too many times. <laughs> Also, what what is my camera doing? There we go. I must I must have moved it. I'm like I'm like hiding in the corner down here. There we go. Oh, we got some some blights. Blight lords or zombies, I should say. That's not a blight lord. That's a freaking <laughs> cliff racer. And one more for good measure. There it is. Alright. 
I'm, I'm gonna fix my camera after this. <laughs> All right, we may have to smash him. We may we may have to smash him. Yep. Smashy smash. There we go. All right, let me let me uh fix my camera. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Pro tip: don't don't touch it after you set it. <laughs> All right, now we're now we're good to go. Don't don't want to don't want to be off in one corner. That just, that just looks weird. <laughs> All right, uh, can we rest? We cannot, for I hear the sounds of battle. Oh, it's just another ash zombie. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please. Please. Can we rest? Sweet. Oh, it's a freaking hunger. Okay, so this guy we actually have to smash because he's just resistant to all the magic. <laughs> he's not doing much damage, though. I, I actually don't know what he's doing. Good old, good old 75% resistance. He's the opposite of an Altmer. He has just, he has resistance to every type of elemental magic. Which is, you know, super handy when you're a mage. Right. Alright, so this, this should be, should, should be the path. Oh. Uh, clouds, clouds of cliff racers. We may actually just have to levitate up. Do, do we have to levitate up to him? I can't. I can't really remember. Yeah, I think he's up there, right? All right. Well, let's uh, let's use our steel blade, I guess. That's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally equipped it instead of just pulling out the enchantment. There we go. All right, there's the enchantment, and then we need us uh, we need Sunder back on, so that we're not over encumbered. Uh, let me get some fire bite, or frostbite. Both get the job done, and one more. There we go. All right, to Dagoth we go, over the river and through the woods. <laughs> Guess I'm guessing he's in here. Oh, I uh, need one more levitation. There we go. And here we here we are. I think this is the ruin. Would that will this take us to the center of the mountain? No, that's the uh, that's the real question. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Coming through. Le okay, now now I see maybe why they removed levitation from Marwind. I mean, from Skyrim. It's just totally busted. <laughs> All right, Kagranax study. Oh boy. Uh, I seriously need some orange juice, but I don't want to leave my house. Oh, the dilemma, dude. That is a tough one. How bad do you want it? You know, how bad do you need it? Those are the those are the real questions. It sounds it sounds like you need to do some soul searching. Don't cry. <laughs> All right, there we go. Thankfully, on the last uh, the last bit of magicka. All right, there's still one more enemy around. I'd really love to rest before we get into Kagranak study. I'd, I would prefer to go in with uh, full Magicka. I'm trying to see what's around us, though. 
I'm assuming a cliff racer is just like stuck behind one of those towers. You know, as as is tradition, right? All right, well, uh, let's just go in, I guess. Let's uh, let's dive on, dive on in. Uh, crystal blade glow. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> We'll be fine. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to use a magic potion. I do have a good bit of normal ones, though. Uh, the Dormers had so much cool shit. Like, let me fire that giant crossbow once, right? They need, a, they need to have one of them on. Just one for us, please. Alright, let's save, because there's a Dreamora Lord in front of us. Um, I, I guess we summon ours, right? And, uh, okay, this one seemed apathetic, too, at, at the very least. <laughs> so there's that, right? <laughs> go get him, go get him. Oh, there's a, ooh, there's two, there's two, okay. Let's heal, let's heal. Um, I didn't see that guy over there. That's less than ideal. Uh, let's use our f fireball spell, I guess. Oh, did we get one hit? One hit. All right, there we go. Uh, I think the Daedra's still alive, sadly. Can we heal? Can we heal? Oh, we we have a uh, no magica. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. Ooh. All right. Um, summon our guy again. Whoa, he totally just glitched out right there. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. There we go. But there's a freaking um, Ash Slave mage right there. Ow. Okay, be being an Altmer. <laughs> Not the easiest playthrough. Okay, we got him. Thank God. Dude, mages always scare me. As soon as I see a mage, like... Total, total heart drop. <laughs> All right, now we can actually see. Let's uh, let's take a look around. Heavy desk, nothing there. Oh, we got a got another Dagoth. Let's get the amulet. Nice, got the stun. He reflected the poison. Also, look how messed up this is. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> look at that face. Where did that character, uh, where'd that character designer go in, uh, when, when Skyrim was in development? There's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, very interesting things in, in Morrowind. <laughs> People with, uh, tentacle faces. Really, the whole slave trading thing is interesting. A lot of people were reflecting the poison from a sword I have. It's really annoying. Dude, honestly, reflection is probably... what I, I think it's the most annoying thing in the game. But that may just be because I'm playing a mage. Um, I free slaves left and right. There you go, don't cry. Good man, good man. Oh, I still can't rest. Huh. Okay. I don't want to keep m using up my magicka potions before the final battle. That's the only thing. Trying to trying to be conservative. Oh god. Okay. I guess I guess we're burning burning another one. Although I I do have a couple more mages guilds that I can go and extort for <laughs> for magicka potions. 
All right, there we go. I got some other cool armor of the Savior, which is reflect 60%. There you go. I have heard of that. I've heard of it, but I haven't found it. <laughs> All right. We're, we're, we're just, uh, we're just going to whack him. <laughs> The, the paralysis is so busted. Can you reflect someone's reflect? I think spells can only be reflected once, but you can absorb a reflection. I'm, I'm almost positive on that, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not positive I'm positive. <laughs> You can definitely spell absorb, like if you have a absorb magica or whatever. That can absorb a reflection. Oh sweet, we get to actually rest. Ooh, baby. We get to rest in Kangranax. Study. Most excellent. Was this a big loop? Was it, was that the Dremora Lord right there? Okay, there there was a hallway over here I didn't see. Oh, there's another Dagoth. Um, let's Yeah, let's summon our summon the apathetic Jader again. Our boy. Um Let's get Night Eye on him. Go for the paralysis. <laughs> we've used Night Eye. I think Night Eye is the only illusion spell we've honestly used, like, at any length. Do we have any free soul gems? Okay, we actually don't, so we can just. We can just bash him. <laughs> or actually, let me use my cold hands. I think that'll make it faster. Yeah. Yeah, much faster. I think I I think I made that spell for like 80 80 points of uh frost damage. And Gasta Kvak Kvakis. Ooh, Dwimmer Centurion plans, we'll take those. A ghoul heart, we'll take that. Uh journeyman's there's Night Eye. Uh, Apprentice. So this dude is 72,000, but Golden Saints are 80? Really? Wow. And I know you can do, like, the old... The, uh, you can do the cheese. Where you summon the Golden Saint just with the scroll, right? Okay, there's a ton of good stuff around here. Disease resistance. That doesn't really matter, though. Take that. Warhide, Scrib. I mean, these are all very, very light, so. Never hurts to have it. Um, was this where. Was this not where we're supposed to be? We may have to. We may have to find another entrance. Ooh, here's Kagranak's journal. Uh, the contents of this handwritten journal are in an unfamiliar script in an unknown language. There are many complex diagrams. Heavily annotated with numbers and strange symbols. The title page, however, is clearly marked Aldmeris Kagranax Journals. Okay. Alright, I mean that's four that's four hundred gold. <laughs> For two pounds. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, there's the parts of a centurion. Alright. Well, it wasn't here, so onward and upward. I haven't found a summon golden saint spell yet. Oh, okay, so the got the Mages Guild in Caldera sells a uh, summon golden saint scroll. That's where I've been getting all mine. You just have to be in the Mages Guild, I guess, to uh, hire him, <laughs> or or I guess just be able to access the, you know, sell. Uh, 
Um, reattach this. Alright, we're just gonna fly up the mountain and just go towards the quest marker. Dun dun dun. Die, bird. <laughs> I think it's only 30 seconds, though, so we may run out here in, a, here in like one second or two. Or do we get it? Or do we get it? Okay, we get it. Uh, maybe. Oh, hello. Meet <laughs> Cliff Racer, meet a uh, mallet. I, I'm pretty sure you can get it off the spells, can't you? Or off the scrolls? I, I haven't personally done it, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can cheese it that way. Excuse me, sir, coming through. <laughs> That's so busted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's Dagoth. All right, let's uh, put a levitation on so I don't fall and die <laughs> right when right when we get here. Um, good looking spot, good looking spot. You know he's he's really uh, he's really done well with the place. <laughs> let's grab a quick save. Okay, so this is closed. Do we have to? Pull a lever somewhere or something. Down here? Nope. Let, you know what? Let's check our journal. Let's check our journal to see. Uh, you must sever his connection with the Heart of Lorcan. To do this, strike the heart with the hammer. You must wear Wraith Guard. Okay. Uh, here's the long, detailed explanation. Yeah, read it at your convenience. Go to Red Mountain. Recover there, these two, which we did. Okay, then proceed with Wraith's Guard, Sunder, and Keening to the Citadel of Dagoth Ur. Within the Citadel, find the Heart of Lorcan and use the three RFX. Okay. Now the question is, how do we just open the door? <laughs> well, here's a steaming vent. Um... There's usually like a little turn handle or something, right? Around here? Or do we have to do it at a certain time of day or with a certain connection on? Hmm. Hmm. I don't see any buttons. Ah, here we go. Here we go. It's always, you know, <laughs> looking for brown against brown is, is pretty difficult. <laughs> it's, they hide it from you. Uh, let me use Night Eye. We're actually kind of low on Come, man. Nerevar. Friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and of Kulakan. And bring Wraithguard. I have need of it. Okay. Okay. And bring Wraithguard. I have need of it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, guys, we're, we are... We're here. Nerevar, Moon and Star. Oh, come on. We gotta hit him for the last the last bit of damage. Alright, let's grab a rest. <laughs> Just taunting Dagoth. Resting. <laughs> Just taking a nap. You know, it's casual. Um, Come to the heart chamber. 
I wait for you there, where we last met countless ages ago. Oh god. Dude, he has an epic voice actor. Oh my god. Oh guys. Oh guys. Am I, am I, I don't know if I'm ready for this, mentally. It's been a long time since I've beaten Morrowind's main quest. A long time. Uh, let's clear this place out. I know these guys can reflect, so I actually don't want to use a spell on this particular person. Because they, they have a pretty good reflect chance. They've, they've killed me with my own fireball numerous times. Um, night eyed up. Come, to, Come the... to me through fire and war. I welcome you. Oh, baby. The inner facility. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, frostbite him, I guess. Frost, frost on ash usually works pretty good. Wow, that does not enough damage all right we're good we're, we're good we're good um and i can still grab a heal all right there we go and night eye let's grab a save welcome moon and star i have prepared a place for you <laughs> Freaking Dagoth, man. He has such a stately voice. Like, Dagoth could 100% be a politician. Easy. A voice like that. A demon longbow. That's sick. Oh, I'm failing. Okay, there we go. Um, I can't rest here. Okay. Come. Bring Wraithguard to the heart chamber. Oh god, another Together, one. Together let us free the cursed false gods. Another one of these guys. <laughs> hey, blunt skill to 16, so don't cry. We're getting those levels. Uh, we're getting those levels, thankfully. Uh, we're gonna keep grabbing these amulets because it's just an easy 2k every time. Oh boy, grab another save. Oh, Bone Walker. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. There we go. I really want to paralyze him so that he can't use his, uh, you know, like drain strength on us. The most annoying spell in all of existence. Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak <laughs> for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. The mongrel dogs of the Empire. Oh my god, I love his voice. Holy crap. I forgot how much I liked it. The lower facility. We've gone from the inner facility to the lower facility. Oh, we got... There's evil afoot. Okay, uh... What do we do here? Let's try cold hands on him. Uh, maybe one more. One more? There we go. I love that spell. It just takes so much magicka. That's, uh... It's the only downside. I'm, I'm going to step outside and rest just to uh, get our magicka back. Oh god, we have a Bone Lord and another Dagoth guy, so let's summon. Let's summon our Daedra. Alright, this is an enchanted, so should be able to hit the Bone Lord. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more. Oh my god, this freaking Dagoth guy again. 
Oh, he resisted it every time. Okay, I need I need to back off and heal. Dang, man, I, I didn't expect him to resist every single one of those. <laughs> that could have been that could have been better. Uh, let's try cold hands on him. Get out of my face! Oh God, he's got, oh, dang it! Okay. Okay, okay. I think he I think he got to reflect on us. Our our downfall. Whew. All right. All right, we just we just got to stretch it out. We got to got to work out the kinks before before Dagoth, you know. Also, let's get Night Eye on before we start this fight. Cuz I I'm I had a hard time seeing him to be honest. All right, there we go. Um, summon Daedra. All right, whack the Bone Lord. One more, one more. There we go. Um, let's get the Paralyze on him. Oh, he resists every time. And he has Reflection on. I can, I can see it proccing. So let's grab a heal and try and let our Daedra finish him off. I mean, should have it. One more, one more. One more. Please. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, we keep having close calls tonight. Blood Ring. Fortify health 10 to 20. Fire Shield 10 to 20. Resist magic 10 to 20. Dispel 10 to 20. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. You know, all these, all these Dagoth guys, they, they got, they got some great equipment. Hey, what's up, Ian? How's it going, man? We are nestled in Dagoth, Dagoth's clutches. Uh, we're right at, right about at the end of Morrowind. Glad you could stop by, man. How was your last couple days? It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, we'll grab a heal. We'll grab a heal. I, I mean, honestly, here, I should... If, if I can, I'm actually going to take any, another rest as well. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take another rest because we're, we're starting to slow down on them. Um, or get low on our item charges, I should say. Is this how you honor the Sixth House and the tribe unmourned? Come to me openly, and not by stealth. Okay. Uh, come to him openly. And not by stealth. Oh, here's a dead hero. He's got a Daedric short sword. Oh my god. Money, money, money. Uh, I figured out Daggerfall. So pretty good so far. Nice, dude. Have you been playing it? Have you been enjoying it? I'm glad that you got it to uh, start working for you. Yeah, raw glass, raw ebony. We'll, we'll pass. Take the coins. because That's just easy money. Whoa, what do we have here? Dwimmer Boots of Flying, 1 to 100. There are only 70. And 1 to 100. I mean, we have so many levitation items. We'll leave it. Let's grab a save. What kind of class are you playing in Daggerfall, Ian? All right, here's the Facility Cavern. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm... <laughs> it's the dude... Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. Hello, Dagoth. It began here. It will end here. Have you any parting words, or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are the challenger here, after all, so to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. Ooh, parting words. Let's see what that is. Uh, now you have come to me here, there can be but one result. Many times I have considered offering to share this place with you. I consider offering to accept your oath. You may trade to buy my trust with race guard Keening and Sunder. I thought we might once again be friends and brothers in arms. But I have won this place in power by conquest, by right and enterprise. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And if you are not my enemy, you cannot live. Oh, God. He doesn't look that menacing. Yeah, I guess it depends on, uh, depends on your uh, definition of menacing. 
Also, I have been enjoying it. I let my nephew play because he wouldn't quit bothering me. And he deleted your save. Oh, dude, that's rough. Well, I, I hope the Acrobat Argonian gets another start. It will be decided here. I believe I will prevail, but I cannot be sure. And I am vain enough that should I fall, I would ask that you be remembered in my own words. Or I ask to be remembered. So if you have final questions, ask it. I have final questions I would ask of you. Uh, let's see what these are. Are you really the Nerevar? Yes. <laughs> By the grace of gods and fate, I am the Nerevar. Or I am a self-willed hero. I make my own fate. That's more Larry. You are bold. I honor your independence. You are one to teach the gods their limits. I hope the bards praise the glory of your death. Not happening. Uh, if you win, what do you do with the power from the heart? Will you make a, yourself a god or establish a thearchy? Uh, will you complete a Kula Khan? Uh, control Tamriel with the Septums? Ooh, no. I have my own secret. We're going to make him die questioning. <laughs> Excellent reading, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, perhaps there may be surprises in store for you yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle. Or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer, no matter. You know the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean. <laughs> that, that joke is as old as time. So unless you have, uh, unless you have another punchline, then yes, I do. <laughs> uh, my nephew messes something up when he plays any of my games. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, man. Maybe you should not let your nephew play it then. Uh, my final question is, if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening? To seal your oath. I would never join you. Frickin' Dagoth. Thank you for the forthright response. And now if you have any questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. And I await your first blow. Alright, do we have... Do we have a... Uh, you have to beat him more? <laughs> Man, if you, he's sick, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, man, I mean... Uh, don't cry, he's taking the old-fashioned approach. You know what? Um... Let's ask let's ask what he's going to do with the heart, and then we'll attack him. Uh, I will draw divine power from the heart and distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds so that it will touch each soul on Vardenfell. <laughs> nice. And then more broadly, across the waters to the rest of Morrowind and Tamriel. In time, every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the divine. All right. It's unexcusable. It is unexcusable. I agree. Um, I think we should figure, should figure out our business. I'm finished talking. Defend yourself. Uh, if you are impatient to begin, go ahead. You are the challenger. All right. Goodbye. Um. <laughs> Whoa, man. I thought you said I got the first blow. Is he going to freaking kill us straight off? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought I thought we'd actually have the first blow. All right, Dagoth. Okay, okay, Dagoth. Okay, it's bedtime. Ciao. All right, sleep sleep well, Emsia. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome, Moon and Star. Hope to see you in the next stream. This place where destiny is made. All right, let's get to business. All right, the first blow. Let's let's try for a paralysis. Don't we have to do something with the heart, right? Oh no, I had him on the first one, but I cast it too many times. Oh, that was that was a freaking oversight. That was an oversight. I think we just threw right there cuz I cast it one too many times. Yeah, yeah. All right. I cast our amulet one too many times. Because if we got that stun on him, it w we would have been fine. Uh, Dagoth laughs at you for believing him, right? <laughs> I mean, he is a treacherous, treacherous heathen. Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny All right, we're going to have the amulet ready. Also, let's, let's look around for a second. You know, let's... Let's gather our surroundings. Okay, we gotta, I'm assuming, get through there somewhere, because we gotta get to the heart and the tools. Uh, you know, I don't see anything. It's probably on him. Alright, amulet's ready. 
Let's get our guy. Uh, so the mad stone. The mad stone is sound, so that that could interrupt. Also, whip out the switch. There you go, man. Dude, one of the beauties of the switch, right? Uh, our bit. Well, I gotta click continue. <laughs> our business. I'm waiting. All right. There we go. Beat on him. <laughs> Beat on him. All right, here we go. See, all, all we needed was the paralysis. Uh, dude, you got the face of fear helm. Sick. Uh, this one? Yeah, that is the bound helmet. All right, so he disappeared. Awesome. Round one complete. All right, let's grab a quick save. Let's rest and charge up our amulet again. Because that amulet is like the key. <laughs> the amulet is the key to all of this. Um, how close is it? Alright. I mean, we're pretty stocked up. Akulakan's chamber. What a fool you are. Oh, I'm shit. A god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Dang, he comes... I mean, he so goes... Naive? He, he no immediately aggros us. Holy crap. Okay, well, we do have spell absorption and stuff. So maybe we should pop that. I'm going to grab one more rest. Uh, since it auto-saves before the rest. Uh, there's two Jadric faces of inspiration. Two faces of fear and one face of God Helm. Okay. Okay. So you got the God Helm. And I have to get the uh, faces of fear now. <laughs> that way that we can balance the universe. Don't cry. Alright, do we have anything to... Um, like, okay, this is Sanctuary. That's Fortify, Magicka, and Conjuration. We may want to use that. Uh, fortify an Armored and Chameleon. Uh, can I not use it? No, I can't. Okay. That's kind of weird. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna, we're gonna pile on... Pile on some spells... Uh, here's Sanctuary and Magicka. Um, fortify Health. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just pile it on. Just get them. Let's get them all going. Um, get the Saint out. Get the Daedra out. Do we have a potion of, like, Absorb Magicka? Because I think we did. Frost Shield. He was using l Fire. So let's use that, and then in there, don't we have to, uh, don't we have to go and attack the tools of Kangrenak? Uh, I have two faces of inspiration, but I haven't found the others yet. Okay, well, I wish you luck on your quest to find the other faces of inspiration. Okay, defeat Dagoth, or what do we have to do? Uh, handle Sunder or Keening, yep. So, within the Citadel, I'll find the heart. Use the three artifacts to sever the connection to the heart, and he will be destroyed. Okay, so do we just have to go and attack the heart with all... Um, with all of it? Is that what we gotta do? I think that's, I think that's, I think that's what we're going for. What a fool you are. I'm a god. All right, let's see. How can you kill okay, a he, god? Okay, yeah, he's aggroing our son. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is All right, no there's escape. The heart. No uh, recall or intervention can work in this place. Where's the letter? Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. Here we go. Okay, there's that. Um, do we have to hit it with Keening too? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Oh god, we're dying. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, that, we were on the right track. We were on the right track. <laughs> we were on the right track. Alright, I'm off the bed. I have school tomorrow and I need to catch up on work. Good night. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Ian. Have fun with Daggerfall, man. I'm, I'm glad you stopped by. Alright, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do the same plan. Um, <laughs> Dagothur doesn't like that. No. 
<laughs> no, we didn't. I, I think what we need to do is have our amulet ready. Because I hit them both, and then maybe I turn on him and try, try that. I think I can just drop straight down, in which case I'm going to have Golden Saint ready. I think I can make the jump without... What a fool you are. I'm a god. Brian. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Right, How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can right, work in uh, this place. Where um, is... Lay down your saying. weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. Summon that. Yeah, he's, he's on us. <laughs> okay, there's that. Is, is this... Is this incorrect? <laughs> God, it's been so long. Okay, well, he's coming at us. Okay, well, there's that. Um, that gives us 30 seconds to play around. Okay, I hit it. And I used Keening. Oh, we got to finish our attack. There we go. What are you doing? You so Stop! There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, we got to put Sunder back on. We got to put Sunder back on. Oh, he resisted. Um. Oh, God, what do we do? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has tried sneaking up on Dagger. Yeah, you never know. Boom. Boom. Good night, Dagoth. <laughs> I found the heart of Lorcan within the giant artifact Akula Khan. I struck the heart with Sunder, then struck it again with Keening until the enchantment was destroyed, severed from sustaining uh, the power of the heart. Dagoth was destroyed, but the disturbance triggered an earthquake, and I had to flee for my life. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, telling me I should leave. The floor is lava. Dude, the floor literally is lava. <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Is there something down here? I, 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 I don't want to leave like a stone unturned. I think these are just mine carts though. Yeah, they're just mine carts. Nothing in them. All right, we're, we're getting out of here. We're peacing. Bye bye, Dagoth. I also love how the floor is uh, literally lava. <laughs> nice, nice try, Dagoth. Nice try. I gotta say, dude, Kagranax tools, Akula Khan, Heart of Lorcan, that's some cool shit. You know, put that up. Put that up with, uh, like, I don't know any of the other Elder Scrolls endings. Well, I guess Oblivion had a pretty cool one too. I don't know. I feel like Oblivion and Morrowind ha had the cooler endings of the uh, newer games. And even of like Fallout and stuff, I feel like Oblivion and Morrowind were my favorites. Holy shit. We did it. Alright, well, let's get back over there. I don't know, what, what, what's, uh, what do you think's the best Bethesda ending? Uh, don't cry. Or at least that you know. Also, let's, uh, let's, uh, quick save. Goodbye, guys. Uh, in Oblivion, you go into that other dimension, right? Yes. But also, like, Mehrun's Dagon freaking invades, dude. 
and he like uh, fights, you know, Tiber stuff or whoever it was. And uh, the uh, like, he turns into a dragon, and then Mayrunes is there, and he's you know obviously a demon, <laughs> and and then they they fight it out over the imperial sitting. There's a big ass war, exactly, exactly. There's a huge war. All right, okay. Well, what now? <laughs> what, what, what do you do now? Oh my god. All right, let's get outside first. Here we go. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Duima's folly, Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart free. There we go. Prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nereverine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound. Yet indomitable mm -hmm. will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. Hello, Zarekis. Welcome, welcome. You walked in on the end of end of Morrowind. <laughs> Come, take this thing from the hand of God. Uh, do you have fake teeth or they're natural? They're natural. Thank you so much for the the compliment. <laughs> Woo! We freaking did it. We did the mage playthrough. We stuck to it, and we actually finished. Yes. Oh, oh my God! It always feels good, man, to finish a playthrough. The Ring of Azura, Night Eye. Thank you. We need that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Teeth. What are those, dude? Uh, they're, they're they're those things uh, that are kind of like behind your lips, um, in front of the tongue. <laughs> used to masticate things and yes I mean chew <laughs> all right guys well that's that's the main quest checkmate checkmate also Zrekus uh, hello <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the, the end game cutscene I'm just gonna walk out. Um, let's uh, actually look around for any more loot, because there's a lot of good stuff here. A uh, demon mace. Oh, we're, we're actually, we can only carry five more pounds. Well, let's take this gold. Let's take the potion. I may come back for that demon mace. Because I can use my spell to increase my strength. What the heck? Oh, okay. Dude, we just killed we just killed your god. Like what 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 more do you have to prove? Also, don't cry. Where is the face of god? The the god. Where is that? Oh. Cuz cuz now we're open, man. Now now our uh our checklist is completely open. So, any quest suggestions? Any uh, any dungeons you want to see done? Our main mission's over, so if anyone has any requests, let's let's fire them off. I I wanted to to push towards the main game, and we did it. So there we go, and the rest is history. It's in the Muravani tomb on an island, but I'm trying to remember where. Didn't you see it was uh, south of Sedrith Mora? Also, <laughs> we're we're just gonna we're just gonna smack this zombie down. Get out of my face. Marvani tomb. All right. All right. So I think we go back. I think we sell some stuff. Let's clear the inventory again. And then, uh, and then I'll head to Sadrith Mora, and we may, we may go for that, that quest. 
Dude, I'm just so happy we finished it. <laughs> it's been so many years since I've beaten this game. It's been so many years since I've beaten this game. God, it feels good to do it again. Uh, we'll do Larry and the boys five. All right, we're just gonna all CV out. We're gonna we're go we're going home. <laughs> Never mind, we have to amulet. There we go. Now we're going home. Whew. Another another run complete. Uh, it's east of Vivek and south of Malagmar. Okay, I'll head over to Vivek. Um, actually, first first step first, I'm going to run to Caldera so that we can d ditch all these amulets at the Creeper, and then once uh, once I sell to the Creeper, then we're gonna Do head me. we're gonna head to Vivek. Um. Oh, look look, it's the guy. <laughs> it's the guy. Don't cry, freaking. How about? Sharing the wealth. Oh my god. He always does you. this. He just blocks the stairs. Every time. <laughs> Every time. See, don't cry. I think because we complained about it earlier, he's just really going to do it now. Let's grab a save. Um, like I said, go to the creeper and then we'll head to Vivek. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. I'm also glad that we uh, we killed Dagoth just by just by dropping him in the lava. <laughs> I love that you don't actually have to fight, you know, the main villain of the game. <laughs> you just have to drop him into the lava pit. What do you ask of me? Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but He's always talks about sharing the wealth, fool. Why don't you be your own Nereverine? Exactly. Come on, man. Let let me go about saving the world and all, you know. Instead of just trapping us upstairs. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, hand out some of these, hand out some of these amulets. I mean, we have eight. I think we can only sell two at a time, though. Yeah. Um, grab the weight. Grab the weight. Man, we are going to be rich after this, though. And then even uh, even richer when I decide to actually barter off all the gold or all the glass armor that we have uh, sitting beneath my feet currently. All right, let's let's do it again. Got to do one more time, one more time. Uh, da, da, da. And then we can drop the demon longbow. Offer. All right. Do we have anything else that we can sell them just while we're sitting here? Um, I'll keep some of those amulets on us. Uh, I'm just gonna drop this. Demon longbow. That's 11k. Keening is 400,000. Wow. They both are 400,000. Uh, Steel blade to heaven. Soul drinker. All right. We're gonna hold on to those. Your wounds are great. <laughs> All right. We're off to Vivek to complete Don't Cry's quest. <laughs> All right, so what am I in for, Don't Cry? Uh, what kind of what kind of madness awaits me in the Mulvani tomb? Honor, to be sure. Uh, actually, let's grab a quick save just because we have a tendency to With crash pleasure. on travel. Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. Vivek. Wow, it only took us uh what we started streaming greetings, around like eight forty. It only it only took us an hour and a half to seal off the end of the game. I d I didn't expect it to be that quick. I thought I thought maybe we'd get two more hours out of the main quest, but we really freaking we ran straight through that place, man. We we wrecked those guys. Uh Vivek going out all right so i need to go to malagmar is it closer to vivek or malagmar there's satanine there's pelagiad 
There's Telbert Nora. Because I think we can uh, take a boat to Malagmar from Ebonheart, if I, re if I remember correctly. All right, I'm going to quick save. I think we can make this jump. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, okay. There's one. There's two. There we go. No madness. It's cool. All right. I can handle cool. I, I'm definitely down for cool. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hop around. All right, let's travel it up to Malagmar. Oh, see, see, I just had to talk about crashing on quick travel, <laughs> and then it happens. Yeah, you, you know, old game reloads very quickly, so, you know, there's a plus there. There's a plus. Uh, initializing data, and we're back. We're back at it. I'm I'm excited I'm excited for the for the dungeon now. You got me you got me angstin. I mean we just saved the world. We we can uh we can conquer anything now. Sweet man, we didn't even take any damage that time. Dude, Larry's got strong ankles. He's got very strong ankles. Um. Yes, Outlander. Yes, Outlander. You know, we're going to quick save right in front of him this time. And then we are going to go to Malagmar. All right, don't cry. You got to uh you got to direct me now. So it's south of Malagmar. Is it kind of like in this area here, or is it on one of these islands? I, I guess just say this is, you know, islands west, and these are islands south. I, I am at your, uh, your disposal now. All right, so we're heading south. Let's get the uh, levitate on. Cause I think the easiest way is just going to be to le levitate over this. Uh, it's in an island south, kind of where you were pointing. Okay. All right. Well, then uh, we'll be we'll be heading there shortly. Just gotta levitate over this over this rock wall. <laughs> I I hope to. Uh, once I sell all that glass and ebony, you know we should have enough to uh, make some pretty crazy enchantments. And I hope to just get something that can like boost our willpower, like 200 or something. So that we can uh, cast like, you know, jump 100 or something. And just travel across the map like crazy. I know he's gonna come after us. And we're back. <laughs> all right, what was that all about, guys? Dude, Twitch Twitch has been... It's always the weekends. The, I said it yesterday. It's always the weekends, man. They always they always shut me down, Saturdays and Sundays. I don't know why. Um, we, we have no good hypothesis for it. Boom. <laughs> and we're back. All right, so we are on a quest now. Oh, oh, get out of my face. Uh, one more, one more, one more, there we go. 
All right, so are we heading kind of the right way? Don't cry. Are are we are we getting getting near the right the right direction? The Malvani ancestral tomb. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna head onto one of these islands here. Also, oh, we're almost out of magicka, sadly, sadly. Oop. Cliff racer down. Cliff racer down. Oh, hey, in case you didn't have enough cliff racers, uh, here's a cliff racer with your cliff racer. Uh, it's hard to see where your character is on the map. All right, I'll move my cursor over it in a second. Let me let me knock this guy out of the sky. Uh, grab a rest so we can get our magicka back. All right, I am right here. If you can see where my cursor is. So, we're, we're going to explore our way around these islands. Okay, here's a tomb. Uh, we may have actually, may have stumbled on it. Oh, the Marvani ancestral tomb. Okay, we got it. Don't cry. All right, let's save. All right, here's uh, your community sourced content. <laughs> That's it, dog. Heck yeah, let's do it. Oh, hello, buddy. Uh, Daedra, go. Oh god, I hit my Daedra. <laughs> there, there he is. All right, now he wants to fight. Um, let's get the shock ball out. Oh, he has reflect, of course. Good bite. Good bite. Uh, an ampule pod. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. I thought it was a soul gem at first glance, but alas, it was not. I've got a Bone Lord here. Yo. <laughs> hey, Daedra. <laughs> you want to do something? There we go. He's got, he's got it. He's got it handled. Let's, uh... Let's actually put on Azura's Ring. Just for Night Eye. Get the constant effect Night Eye and so I don't have to keep casting it. What the heck? Oh, y'all seen that? That's a nice little visual bug right there. It's kind of wild. Oh, alright. Shock ball, go. Um, I'm throwing it behind him just because it's AoE. Oh, God. Don't have enough magicka. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get off me. We, we missed so much. We're, we're just a mage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, enemies are nearby. All right. Uh, let me use some potions. One. Two. Let's grab a heal. There we go. Level 80 trapped, okay. Uh, I'm wondering if that's a skeletal champion. If it's a champion, we definitely don't want him in our face. Although, I guess he may have to be in our face, because our Dremora is not obeying. <laughs> yeah, it's a champion, there we go. Oh, excuse me, sir. There we go. <laughs> Champion down! Champion down! Common robe. Small chest. Alright. Uh, the dire flame bolt ring. That's only... That's eh, only 10 gold. 48. Pass on that one. Okay, these are all trapped. So let me grab a quick save in case we die on the door. Sunder smash. Exactly. Dude, this is 
I, I'm honestly surprised that we're doing so well with Sunder. Um, because, I, I mean, when we use a dagger, I mean, we can hardly hit anything, and, and we are, you know, we're actually skilled in short blade. Ooh, an Imperial Silver Helm. That looks pretty cool. Take that. A uh, common amulet. Bitter green. Your strength is like three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is, basically. Oh, our intelligence. Somebody somebody is draining our intelligence. What? Wait a minute. What is draining our intelligence? Or did we just have a... Maybe Dagoth drained it. Because that, that's attacking our mana pool. Let me see if I ever restore intelligence. Quality restore intelligence. There we go. Only took it to 48. Oh my god. Alright, we need to see a... We need to hit an Imperial Altar. I was wondering why we were running out of Magicka so quickly. My intelligence was drained long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, me too, buddy, me too. Oh no, it's one of those slow burn poisons. Oh god, these things take forever to heal. And they do like two health bars of damage. Oh man. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta let it tick for now. Yeah, look at it, look at it, just, it's just draining us, it's sapping us. I, I don't have a cure poison, I don't think. Because remember, we checked at the temple and they actually didn't have it. Hey, that door is poisoned, by the way. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the heads up, don't cry, thank you for the heads up. You 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 got you you know you're always there for me, uh, you're always giving me a heads up, man. That's why I love having you in chat. <laughs> I'm here for you, dog. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, we actually are gonna have to drink another potion to uh, to just get through the freaking poison. Hopefully, one will do it. Look at this thing. This thing's still going. Alright, there we go. Whew. Damn. Also, is this like a portal to hell? I mean, we just came down like five stories. I This is like some journey to the center of the earth uh, stuff right here. Let me get my Daedra ready. I, I feel like something's... Takusha Paul... Okay, so it leads into another ruin. All right, don't cry. I see you. I see you. To Takasha Paul. What the heck is this? Oh my god. Oh crap. Uh, let's let's poison or stun him. What the? Oh. There we go. Okay. That guy came out of nowhere. Alright, Daedra, go. Solve the maze and begin. <laughs> Alright, should we do it legit, or should we be a mage and just fly over everything? Because <laughs> we could totally just cheat our way out of this. Alright, let's uh, let's see if we can get any... Uh, let's see if we can get a hint here. Okay, no, no, no we can't. Alright, we start here. Uh, go this way. You know what, that's not going to work. We really can't see anything. All right, I think we're gonna try and do it legit. Let's try and do it legit. Uh, you know, let's add a little, let's add a little spice, a little spice to play through. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Dude, we, we had two skeletal champions come out of nowhere. I feel like... Oh, I feel like I need to, like, look around the corners in real life. Nope, that's not it. That's not it either. Oh, dead end. Okay. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> Jeez, Deidre, you call that running, right? I mean, he does have a... What, couple hundred pounds of heavy armor on? Alright, so that's not the right way. Is there another door? No. That's not the right way. Alright. Okay, it can be over there. I feel like maybe traveling along the outer wall. That's probably a safe idea, right? Oh, we got another skeletal champion. I think we just beat him up with Sunder. Yeah, we can just keep staggering him. Blunt weapon to 20. <laughs> Ooh, get him. There we go. Alright, we'll summon the Daedra for the next guy. Go back to magic. Okay. Alright, we're making progress. Alright, that looks like that looks like a straight shot to uh, victory, if you ask me. Alright, let's let's blow him apart. I think the Daedra hit that guy once. Dude, he's the apathetic Daedra, you know? <laughs> As he has so been named by uh by the viewers. <laughs> oh god, get up, get up, get up. We just need one more. We just need Oh, we don't have enough. Oh man. I always get nervous. Larry has so little health. <laughs> Oh, we don't have enough magicka. Oh, we can only rest on solid ground, really? We can't rest because uh, we're standing in the water. All right, let's keep burning through our magicka potions, I guess. We do have five exclusive potions of restore magicka, though, so not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. All right, is it at the center of the maze, or is it, like, another door? Oh, hello, buddy. All right, apathetic Daedra, go. <laughs> hey, hey, friend, friend, look, look. <laughs> there has to be a better way to aggro, like... You know, make him go. Oh shit! Okay, we're, we we got ganked. Run away. We got we got ganked. <laughs> Spirit bomb. Uh, let's hit him with. Let's hit him with a, just a couple more fireballs. I think his pathfinding. <laughs> totally glitched out right there. So it's a duel you want. <laughs> one more, one more. Okay, sweet. Oh, wait, we solved it. The Sepulcher. You can only rest on solid ground. Alright, just keep burning them. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Uh, I wonder if the local map helps with the maze. Oh, that's a... I guess it does, kinda, yeah. Alright, I really want to heal. Because I feel like we're just going to walk into, like, the Den of Evil or something. Alright, we're going to use an exclusive. Um, let's grab a heal. There we go. Oh, I I should probably open the door. <laughs> what? Dude, this is cool as hell, don't cry. Holy crap. 
Look at this place. Dude. Don't cry with the hookup on the dungeon. Alright, we have an Imperial Dragon Scale helmet. Uh, dragon Scale Curus. Dragon Scale Tower Shield. Uh, let's take all the Fire Salts. Hackle Joe Leaf. Yeah. What do we have here? Storm Kiss. Very nice. Uh, let's take all this stuff. Oh, it's trapped. Of course. <laughs> of course it's trapped. <laughs> um, Alright, open sesame. Uh, let's grab a quick save in case it's something brutal. Alright, it's just... I think it's just uh, fire damage. Yeah, not that bad. An ebony staff. Okay, okay. Gold emeralds rubies. Thank you. Um. Oh, Cam560. Hey, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you're enjoying. Uh, hope you're enjoying our stream, man. Okay, we got some greater soul gems. Turn up, turn up. With the power of Twitch Prime. <laughs> Second only to the power of Grayskull. M might I. <laughs> might I add. Uh, little Masters of the Universe uh, He-Man. He-Man reference there. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. How's your night going, Cam, by the way? Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. That really means a lot. Um, let's... I think we can just use the small one on this. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, that's frost damage. And that is a lot of frost damage. That's ticking off. Oh, there we go. Okay. 207. Alright, we've, we've looted the Viking burial. Uh, let us continue on, I guess. Dude, this is sick. I'm, I'm assuming we go under? I'm assuming we, we go underwater? Now that we've looted the, uh, the burial site. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's, there's an enemy in the water. Oh, it's a Drew. Okay. Alright, let's grab a save. Hop on in. Uh, let's see if we can amulet the Drow. Or Drew, Drow. <laughs> Does anyone know how to pronounce it? What the heck? Oh, there he is. Oh, we don't have enough charge. Okay, actually... Actually, not that bad. Not that bad. Oh god, I wasn't looking at my breath, though. Let's, uh, let's resurface. Uh, have you looted at all? Or have you? I'm not sure. It's been going well. I've been meaning to sub since uh, Asha told me you started streaming. Asha? <laughs> Cam. Ooh, I'm interested in uh, who you are now. <laughs> um, Alright, let's... Oh god, what do we do here? Well, I think we heal. We heal and then we head down. Alright, let's grab another heal. I don't think I have water breathing, sadly. And have I looted it all? I thought I did, don't cry. I thought I did. Uh, is it not underwater, don't cry? Yeah, we've looted this. We've looted all this. We've got the chests. We've got the chests. Got another chest, yeah. All right, don't cry. Let's, uh... Ah, got it. <laughs> hey, well, thank you for the sub, man. <laughs> All right, uh, if there's nothing else down, where else can you go? Up? I guess up, right? Up? Let's try it. Let's try and levitate. Let's try and levitate up. Um 
All right, let's do travel. Travel stained pants, the most eloquent, <laughs> the most eloquently named item. If I can't go down, let's go up. You're you're like a you're like a wise sensei. I don't see anything though. Or do we go back out, maybe? Oh, 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 here we go. Don't cry. <laughs> the, the sensei knowledge. The Daedric face of God. Heck yeah, baby. Oh my god, 96 pounds. I think that one actually has to stay. <laughs> nice, dude. With da <laughs> Don't cry with the sensei knowledge. Saving the day. Got the gold. Got the enchanted ring. I think we leave the shard axe. It's only 100. Dude, that was a great dungeon. That was a great recommendation, Don't Cry. That was a great recommendation, man. Alright, uh, what do we do? What do we do now? Well, I gotta cast carry stuff so that we can actually make it out. Or, or I guess I can just drop some, some miscellaneous. I'm sure that I have some random things to get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of the petty soul gems. I mean, we, we really don't even use any of these anymore. Um, scrib jelly. Yeah, not interested in any of that. Let's get let's ditch the books. Uh, the brown book that was for the House Talvani quest. Uh, where was the red book? The real Nerevar. Well, we've already beaten the game, so we don't need that one either. <laughs> nice, nice quest recommendation. Don't cry. Good stuff, dude. Alright, let's save. Let's see if uh, Larry's ankles can... Uh... Oh yeah, they can stand it. I just think it's cool. Everything's trapped. You go down 10 flights of stairs, the maze, and the Viking funeral. 100%, dude. This was a sick dungeon. This is honestly... Uh, this is one of, the, one of the better ones I've seen in Morrowind. I think my, f I think my favorite one has to be the, the main quest dungeon. Um... Where Ma Mage Bane is, I think the like the glass longsword. Um, that's one of my favorites because it's just so huge, and then it has that like vertical shaft, you know, where where all the enchanted items are kind of like ringing your way up to the up to the ceiling. Dude, I love that. I thought that was so cool. Uh, I don't know where that is. I can't remember the name of the dungeon, but it is a main quest dungeon. And if if you want a sword that's good against magic characters look up mage bane because uh it's very very nice to have i think it has its enchantment is like resist magic of you know 60 percent or something like that also i don't need to get out i can actually just um cv i'm just gonna um cv nice Okay, we need a we need to get a house now and like start an armor collection, you know, from uh from all the good dungeons. That way we can start to amass our our wealth now that the main quest is the main quest is complete and Marwin to save. Uh, I already have a sick sword at the moment. I got it from Telfir from this old dude. Oh, was that the guy that you were talking about in a uh, in like one of the last streams <laughs> where you're, you're like. Go go talk to the old white guy and then use his amulet to summon the Daedra, right? Alright, let's... <laughs> Sorry, Khajiit. Sorry, Khajiit. <laughs> that guy's got a strong head. Uh, I just gotta point that out. Also, let's uh, hit him with the spirit bomb. Boom. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> That one does so much damage, it's absurd. Alright, uh, well, let's quick save actually before we travel. Because of the crashes. Because of the crashes, never forget. We make a special trip just for you. Say hello. Alright, I guess, I guess the question now, you know, we're obviously not done with Morrowind. Uh, you know, as, 
as a game on the channel, but what what do we do? What do we do next, guys? What's what's our next uh, what's our next topic? You know, what's the what's the next game that we have to conquer? Uh, the old white dude. Then you take his amulet. That's where the savior's armor is too. All right, I think uh, I think you just set our next quest marker. Don't cry. I think I think we're bound for the island of Telfir. I mean, your last dungeon panned out really well, so. You have to beat Ha Ha. <laughs> what is I? What is Ha Ha? I'm, I'm not familiar with that game. <laughs> also, I'm just heading up to the Mage's Guild real quick. Oh, that's right. No, you're right. I do have to do the DLC. Holy crap. What level are we? We're level 15 and we already finished the main quest. We actually are... Uh, we may be a little low-leveled for Solstheim. I don't know about Tribunal, though. Because I think Solstein is, like, level 20-ish. So, we, you know, we may have a little more time before we head to uh, Solstein. Let's sell something to him. Is level 15 Go good? I mean, it's it's good-ish. It's, it's not, you know, super crazy or anything. How much? He has 400 gold. Okay, yeah, we're way out of his price range nowadays. Except for that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the only thing we can give him. Holy crap. Alright. Offer, there we go. Alright, we're heading. We're heading to the Mage's Guild. I'd say, I'd say level 15 is like mid-gamey-ish. I mean, you can... God, I, I, the highest... I, I actually don't know max level in Morrowind. I don't, I mean, I don't think there's a set max level. But I know people who've taken it into the 50s plus, you know, 60s. I think 55 Welcome, is the partner. highest let's set aside our uh, differences one of my talk, friends shall got we? to. All right, let's grab a save. Where have we been stashing all of our stuff? In uh, Aldrune, right? So let's let's throw these things in Aldrune, and then we'll head to Telfir. So we can just take the mage to Sadrith Mora, and then we can just take a boat to Telfir. All right, let's stash. Actually, let, let me... Let me look at this real quick. Oh, how, how did you, uh... I'm trying to remember how you, like, circle your character. Oh, there's a, there's a button to do it. I just can't remember. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the face of, uh... The Daedric face. I would love to wear it, but it is heavy armor. Let's uh, let's leave it on the bed to uh, stare at us when we return home from our quests. Put that there with it. That one there too. Um, what weapon? Yeah, we'll just leave a <laughs> leave an e leave an ebony staff just casually on the floor for for all of our good friends at the Mage's Guild to look at. Keening. See, I would use Keening. But the only thing is, I really love this the boost that we get on our, to our strength from the uh, Sunder. So. You know what? Maybe we should look into Tribunal. I think 15 should be fine for Tribunal. It may be a little low for Solstein, but uh, Tribunal should be okay. Let's grab a save. I know that people are always like, don't go to Tribunal first because they have so much late game, you know, late game item uh, items available that you just kind of like break everything. <laughs> you know, if you go if you go too early and make it work. Oh, there we go. Uh, second crash of the stream. The Bethesda magic keeps on keeps on giving keeps on giving, guys. But we're already reloaded, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It's always the load zones, man. It's always the load zones. I need I need to get like a t-shirt or something that just says save, you know, save many and save often. 
That's that's kind of a uh, it's kind of the cardinal rule of Bethesda land. All right, Wolverine Hall. Here we go. Off to the port. Um, let's let's put on Hop Toad again. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> Dude, we get such we get so such a such a good jump now. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Larry Larry needs to go out for the NBA. That's all I know. Look at, look at that. Larry Larry'd be dunking on you know everybody. Maybe that's what we do for our uh, our next Morrowind stream. Maybe we go to uh, Tribunal. For now, I think uh, I think I'm I'm gonna take your advice and do the dungeons though. Dunking from half court. I mean, you know, you know how Larry do, man. You know how Larry do. Okay, tell fear. I think we may actually just have to run to tell fear. Yeah, we just gotta run there. Something I. I can't wait, but I I think I can get water walking off. Yeah, we can get it off. All right. And I still have a couple magic potions. Hey man, it's a foggy day out here in a out here in the Escadian Isles. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Larry's Larry's uh going the wrong direction. Dude, dude just got a Discord notification. Who's posting in the Discord? <laughs> We got. We were getting some uh, pet pics earlier in the Discord. I know. I know. Uh, MCA was posting his cat, and uh, don't or Distreco was getting his dog up in there. So I'm totally okay if you know our Discord just devolves into pet pics. Like that's that's totally fine with me. <laughs> uh, okay. So until fear, there's also the dungeon which I haven't raided yet. So I don't know what's down there. Ah. Well, do you want? Do you want us to spoil it? Or uh, do you want to save it for yourself? All right, we may have to kill these cliff racers just to rest. Yeah. I don't really want to burn another exclusive magicka potion just to water walk over to Telfir. So. All right, get ready. Pain train's coming. Ah. 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 Okay, what happened to our vert? <laughs> Larry forgot to Larry forgot to pump up his Jordans. Come down here, man. Come on. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna hop away. All right. Well, I I think he may just be stuck there, which is fine. That one is also stuck there. <laughs> Gotta love a little Morrowind magic. Uh, that cliff racer must be related to your Daedra, a hundred percent. I think they are. Uh, I think they're from the same family, man. Apathetic. They look like they want to fight, but they really don't. I was promised a pain train. All right, you're right. The pain train's coming. Here we go. <laughs> Bam. All right, there's the pain train. <laughs> Let, let's try and get a little more, a uh, little more of a pain train when we get to the next dungeon. Also, welcome to stream. Acetonic. At least, you know, that was a minor pain train. That was, that was a little bit. That was a tiny little one. The pain trains are coming. Choo choo. Oh, that should be a, that should be another emote. Oh, here, <laughs> here's a little more pain for uh, my my bloodlusting viewers. Just dunk on a rat. <laughs> hey you. Marwin fan or you, you Elder Scrolls fan just stumble into the stumble into the wrong category always always interested to know uh, where people are coming into Marwin from okay Onyx Hall 
Uh, I played Marwan through like seven times. Heck yeah, man. A hardened veteran. I love that. Okay, so seven times. What was your favorite class playthrough? Because actually tonight, earlier in stream, we just completed the main quest. And this was my first ever pure mage character. So I've done two-handed warrior and a pure mage now. And I got to say, the mage is very fun, very different. Yes, uh, so right, right when you walk through the door to the top room, look up. He has Sunder. Ooh, Lord, Hulkamania. Welcome back, brother. <laughs> we actually just finished the whole main quest, Hulkamania, earlier, earlier in stream. Fancy looking Sunder. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we're using the Marwind graphics overhaul. Uh, I don't know if you've modded, modded your Marwind at all, but... It is done. No! Oh, dude, I'm sorry. You know the time I stream, Hulk. Okay, so is this the top room? Don't cry. Is this, is this what we're uh, talking about? Alright, let me get Sunder back on. I do. I have a needy butthead of a kid. Hey, man, totally understandable. Totally understandable. I was just jo joking with you. If you want to see us uh, fight Dagoth, there's always the VOD. Um, and it, it was it was actually kind of a it was actually kind of a funny fight because I was like trying to remember what I did, you know, seven years ago, <laughs> and, and I was just like racking my brain trying trying to remember how to beat him. Uh, you got this. Oh, he's he's just a butthead. Okay, well, you know, sometimes they grow out of it, so. I know I did. I was kind of a butthead when I was a kid, but I got better now. Now I'm a, you know, contributing to society adult. Oh, look at me. Uh, I got this. Okay. Is it is, is it not Divya Fear? Don't cry. Go ahead. I am listening. Alfie Fear, uh, Daughters, Delta Fear, the efficient one. Uh, she acts as our steward. Nope, nope, nope. Strong souls, uh, summoned creatures. Do this twice while carrying a powerful soldier. I'm gonna give the gym to Luna. Henna, go open the cabinet. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, Outlander. All right, cabinet. Lock level 100 and trapped. Okay. Legit killed Dagoth er, on my run today as well. Hey, nice, dude. Great minds think alike, brother. Uh, all right, let's open it up. So so now <laughs> you gotta rob this place blind. They don't even care. Alright, well let me let me quick save just in case you're you're lying. I also would love to go sleep in his bed because I'm totally out of magicka. So if this trap kills us, I'm I'm blaming you. Oh, we don't have enough magicka. Rip. Uh there we go. Let's try again. There it is. Curus of the Savior's Hide. Resist magic at 60%. Oh my god, I wish I had had that earlier in the run. That's actually that's actually not that bad of a freaking trap. I thought we were going to die there. OP is fuck. 100%, dude. That looks that looks brutal. Um Okay, rob this place blind. Let's let's see if they got anything else. You're right, they totally don't care. Sweet moon sugar. Magicka doesn't count elemental damage, really. Please join me. Um Oh man, that I thought that was a Let me let me grab a save. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm nervous, guys. I I don't like stealing right in front of people. I, f I feel dirty. I feel dirty, guys. <laughs> Alright, well, let me get my heal out, because it is trapped. Simply Nexus. <gasps> Welcome back, Simply Nexus. Uh, combine the hide with the ring of... Pinester. I don't know. I don't know if I know that ring. Oh, Scourge. There we go. I have had Scourge before. I remember Scourge. Penny, also welcome back to stream. 
playing tonight too. Awesome, Penny. What what kind of character are you rocking tonight? Uh, he's an immortal wizard. If anyone cannot give less of a fuck, it's him. That's that's actually true. That's true. You know, if if someone isn't gonna care, it's it's gonna be the guy who lives forever. He can just make another scourge. Okay, there we go. An alteration skill book. All right, what else? What what other uh, joyous things does he have laying around for us? Grand soul gems. Oh, he he just has grand soul gems just sitting there. Are you kidding me? And we can just rob him, and he doesn't care. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is freaking ridiculous. Uh, there's another chest on the shelf. Uh, yeah, yeah, I took them. All right. The, them gems just chilling. I mean, like, how could we resist? How could we resist? I mean, they have it laying out right in front of us. Uh, corpus weepings. Oh, a good skooma pipe. All right, guys. I, I got to grab the skooma pipe. You know. And the skooma. <laughs> yeah, I know a Khajiit. Uh, he likes the skooma, you know. Uh, do we have... Okay, what do we drop? Because we just picked up, like, 50 pounds of items. Easy. Um, what, what gets the cut? Actually, let's just cast, uh, carry stuff. Oh, can I, can I get to the bed? If I can sleep in his bed, I don't have to use another magic potion. Alright, there we go. And I'll sleep in his bed. You're right, he really doesn't care. Oh, some dude stole my mace? I'll just wait until he fights a Daedra that can't handle it and then get it back. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, let's uh, break into his uh, other stuff, too. Um, Where is it? Oh, no, it's open door. The crescent is lootable here. Really, is it upstairs? Did I just pass it? Hearth heal. Ha-ha. Um, all right, let's uh, let's travel back up. I, I, I may have missed something. <laughs> Maybe. All right, guys. I see how. I see how it is. <laughs> A uh, stealth mage, wood elf here. Hee <laughs> hee, cool. Are you maxing out? Um, are you going chameleon? Invisibility? Now you say wood elf, so I immediately think archer. Is uh, is that what we're feeling right? Uh, right next to him on the shelf is a chest. Oh, I must have just overlooked it. Yes, Outlander. <laughs> he keeps his servants' skulls. What the heck? Oh yeah, there it is. Open sesame. Um, Alright, let's get the heal on again. There we go. The Daedric Sanctuary Amulet. Alright. Uh, Divias... <laughs> Divias 1,155th one, 1, key. You need to take better care of your keys, sir. Alright, come on, man. 1,155. Are you kidding me? Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Um, what am I doing? I'm casting carry stuff. That's what I'm doing. Oh, we don't have enough magicka. Dude's throwing down magicka potions like it's going out of scale. Uh, Wood Elf does indeed equal Archer. Exactly. Uh, use the amulet. Hush you. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know about the amulet. I just didn't remember where it was. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna grab a rest though. So. Oh wait, no, I just healed myself. I, I actually didn't need to rest there. Foolish mortal. All right, let's save, and then let's use it. Um. Would you like to travel to Magas Volar? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Oh, hello. Okay, okay, is this it? Is this the dude? Is this, uh, Daedric? All right, let's go, let's go. All right, play nice. <laughs> play nice, play nice with each other, guys. Okay. I feel like I should be really scared of this guy. Is this a Draymora Lord? Oh. Yo, can you attack him, please? <laughs> 
Uh, let's try and paralyze him. Oh, no, not here, not here. Oh, there we go. Hit him with the blunt end. Oh. You have defeated the Lord Dragus Volar. The Daedric amulet that brought you to this place disappears from your inventory, but is replaced by Valar's own weapon. You now wield the Crescent Blade. Uh... Oh, baby. That's, that's something all right. Look at that. Uh, I let people name my character. They name him Joe Bimsby. Joe Bimsby, I like it. It's, you know, it has a nice ring to it, simply. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> okay. Daedric Crescent acquired. Daedric items complete. All right, let's fortify our strength against so that we can move. <laughs> Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Joe Bimsby. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay, so we've looted it blind. We've looted it blind. Um, I, I think we gotta <laughs> return to home base and drop some stuff because we got some sick items. Um, I need a I need to sort through. Definitely, definitely gotta sort through some stuff here. Uh, the crescent blade does not mess around, baby. All right, I'm gonna have to try it out, even though we're not two-handed. Yeah, it's counted as long blade two-handed. Okay, here's the question: Is is it a constant effect? No, it casts when strikes. It disintegrates armor, and it paralyzes. Holy crap! Wow, dude, that will eat some people up. Uh, you got on a left glove? Nah, just a right one. <laughs> There's a basement to that place I know nothing about. Isn't that just the uh, Corpusarium? Isn't that what it is? Also, let me switch to local so that we can find the uh, Silt Strider. Oh, it's on the other side of the building. Of course it is. <laughs> I never go the right way, guys. I never go the right way. There are gloves you can wear and enchant. I've freaking forgot about that good good call guys good call i need to do that been playing uh been playing too many other elder scrolls games man i forgot about the forgot about the glove slot <laughs> oh i failed casting a spell that i have a 90 percent chance to cast let this be a lesson to never take anything for granted. Uh, yeah, the corporate... Okay, exquisite stuff has high enchant value, I think. I think you're right. I think you're right, Esotonic. Um, I'm pretty sure the corporate... Okay. Actually... All naked upper body. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Banned. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. Oh, why did I accidentally click my robe? Uh, is the Crescent Blade leveled loot? That's actually a great question. Yeah, no leveled loot. Okay. And there's the answer. There's none. Zero. Okay, we... Ooh. There is leveled loot, but no leveled Where would stats. Like to go? All right. Got some... Uh, Where would you like to some go? dissenting opinions in chat. Yes. Acetonic is 100% correct, but Penny is also correct. <laughs> awesome. So here it is. Everybody's right. <laughs> if you're in Coffee Nuts stream, then you're right. You're 100% right at everything. Uh, drop rates are leveled. There it is. Uh, there's level scaling in Marwin, but some artifacts and encounters are unleveled. Ah. So that's that's the kick. That's the kick right there. 
Let's not make this official. Out Drop there. rates, but not individual uniques like in Oblivion. There we go. Uh, Moon Sugar confirmed as wizard. <laughs> All right, Moon Sugar's a uh, archmage, and Acetonic is a uh, hortator of House uh, House Coffee Nut. <laughs> Oh, don't fail me now. There we go. I just needed one more to get to the top. Um, I should have just levitated. I, I don't know why I can't decided to come through the building. That was that was a weak decision on me. What is this regarding Altman? Watch yourself. Stop is free. What do you want? Don't fail me now. Don't stop me now, Queen. <laughs> yes, the Queen. Great man. Oh my god. So good. Uh, monster spawned. Uh, let, me, let me just go ahead and do our travel. We've been dropping all our loot in Eldrune. Uh, monster spawns in the wild and in ancestral tombs are leveled. Crates in dungeons... Oh, we got to make it one more. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop Scourge. Oh, it's still not enough. Need to get rid of four pounds. Um, I think we just dropped Keening right here. All right, let's go to the other room. I know those are in there. I'll move them over in a second. Um, crates and dungeons are leveled as well. The properties of weapons and items are static, though. Okay. So, so no matter where you find it, even if the drop rate varies, it will always be the same item. That's actually really good. I know that we are unarmored. Okay, but we beat the game. So do we consider the playthrough complete now? Or do we keep sticking to uh do we keep sticking to our build 100%? You know, where where does the decision go? Uh, COC tell Voss at level one and find out. Unarmored is odd. Fudge, no. You're right. Uh, so, yes, yeah, some areas are static, but to say it is 100% unleveled is incorrect. Compared to Oblivion and Skyrim, it sure feels like it, though. Definitely. Definitely a different a different feel. All right, let's rest and get our magic back. All right, so I am I am open to suggestions now. Uh, I am I am open to suggestions. Ever s since we did the main game and uh, beat that quest, I I am at y'all's mercy. So if anyone wants to see anything done, just let me know. Traveler, see if we can make it happen. I need to come over here and uh, cure my drain intelligence, though. I think maybe start tribunal. Maybe start tribunal. Maybe that's the thing. Stick to the build. All right, don't cry. Oh, wonderful. You got it. Welcome, Outland. I know that Mornhold, City of Light, City of Magic, is open to you. All right. Yep. There's another vote. There's another vote for uh, for tribunal. Okay. So if we're sticking to the build, then we're just gonna hold on to the Daedric Crescent. We're not actually gonna use it. Um. So yeah, let's drop let's drop some of these things. Uh, we're gonna keep Steel Blade of Heaven, uh, Moon and Star. I mean, that's a cool and all, but we don't really need it. Seizing the Air of Musum. yeah, Fortify Acrobatics. You know, don't really need that. Blood Ring. All right, Blood Ring's actually pretty sick. We'll keep the Blood Ring. What do we have that's so heavy? I think it's all these Soul Gems. So this is a Spectre, and that's an Atronach. So those aren't strong. Or no, the Storm Atronach is strong. And then we have two more. Let's get rid of Commons. I'm just trying to cut weight right now uh, before we start another adventure. Uh, I've heard Blood Moon is harder than Tribunal, but I haven't gone through either in ages. Dude, I'm the same way. I, I don't know if I ever beat Tribunal. I definitely beat... Blood Moon. 
years ago I must on that original character that I always reference. <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> um, but Blood Moon is 300% legit harder than Trib for odd reasons. You're... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that de that definitely is an odd reason. Uh, one particular fight. Okay. I I make it quick. Blood Moon takes I place make it quick. after Tribunal, so that does make sense. You're right. Oh, we got to get rid of the Skuma. Dang it. This guy's no fun. He doesn't understand. All right, Skuma's gone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no Skuma. <laughs> I was trying to see if he'd uh if he'd buy the pipe. That'd be hysterical. Maybe you could just trick him into it. Uh Gaynor? I'm not sure what that is. There was a tough fight in Tribunal as well, but it's only one dude. Your carry weight, I'm thinking the hand of Amalexia. <laughs> nice. That that one flew under my radar. I apologize. Okay, he can... Okay, this guy's actually... You know, he can afford some of our stuff. Okay, okay. We can get a little more done here. A little more done. There we go. Got it. Um, do we have anything else to just unload on him? We'll give him the ring and all that. So, I think the vote is for Tribunal. So, maybe that's where we head next. Start looking into Tribunal. Let's see if I can find the quest stub in my journal. <laughs> That's going to be the actual test. Uh, Potion of Burden. Yeah, don't need that. Cheap Frost Shield. We have so much better than that. Slow Fall. Yeah, Telvani Bug Must. We'll hold on to that. Restore Magicka. Hold on to that. Potion of Jump. Meh. Uh, Potion of Fire Shield. Not a big deal. Fortify Willpower. We'll sell. Four. We already have a spell to do that anyways. Um, I think this should be okay. I think we should be good now. You know, we, we have so many scrolls. All right, let's sell actually some unhinging scrolls. Play Matronach, hold that. Let's just get rid of all the unhinging. Uh, soul Rot, yeah, I don't need that. Shield, fine. Reflect, we'll hold on to that. All right, heading on. Uh, Gaynor comes back with a vengeance if you don't give him a million gold. What? A million gold? Am I reading that number right? I suppose. That's insanity. That's insanity. Alright, let's uh let's see. Let's see if we can uh, remember the quest. Okay, here it is. An attempt was made on my life as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably be reported to a guard. A guard has told me my attackers were likely members of the Dark Brotherhood, and I have been targeted for assassination. He suggests I speak with Apollos Matthias and Ebenhart. All right. Let's do it. To Ebenhart we go. Salas Valor. Oh my god, what's the thing from Game of Thrones, guys? I'm blanking. Are you lugging around the quest crescent? No, I dropped it. <laughs> I I put it... Uh, we've just been stashing everything in the Aldrun Mages Guild. Oh, look. There's a shirt that I dropped, too. Valar Morghulis. Yes. Thank you, Cam. Valar Morghulis. That's it. Okay. So, what's the quickest way to get to Ebonheart from here? Actually, probably just Balmora Vivek. Yeah. Why walk okay, Val run. Balmora Divine Intervention, uh, I think, is, is the way to go. Oh, no. Divine Intervention is going to take us to Buck Moth. So, Vivek and then Divine Intervention. Oh, well, that's, that's precisely why I saved uh, Crash number three of the stream. <laughs> I need to install a bot with a counter. That'd be good. I keep saying I'm going to install these counters. I just need to do it. I need to buckle down and do it. I need I need a counter for crashes, and then I need a counter for times that I die when I'm looking at chat. Because 
<laughs> That's also a pretty wolf, common occurrence. You can ride. To Vivek. Where would you like to go? All right, now we can divine intervention to Ebonheart. Loading area. What? How is Pelagiad closer than Vivek? <laughs> I mean, Ebonheart, are you kidding me? I guess if you're in the foreign quarter. Oh my god, cry. I, I am going to cry. Alright, take two. <laughs> I thought for sure we'd get to Ebonheart. I thought for sure. The boat takes you there. I was just... Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, Moon Sugar. That would have been the safer play. I should have done that. But uh, I thought, you know, we just divine intervention to the Imperial Shrine there in Castle Ebonheart. But I was apparently uh, mistaken. I was mistaken. Moon Sugar had the right play. I, I thought it was going to work too, right? It sounded so good. It sounded so good. All right, well, since this guy crashed us before, let's let's save. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to Ebonheart, uh, but I know you don't take me there. <laughs> Why walk when you can ride? Uh, boat, yeah, down here. All right, let's get our let's pump up our Jordans. There we go. <laughs> oh God, uh, I thought I overshot it. Ebonheart. I need to actually name the jump spell like pump up or something. I think I think that's I think that's perfectly apt for it. Alright, now who are we looking for? Who are we looking for? Um Dark Brother attacks. Apolis Matthias. Alright. You there, sir. With the nipple hat. Tell me where Apollos Matthias is. Uh, Vadam Jurin, uh, Duke of Ebonheart, uh, Grand Council, Uriel Septum, nope, nope. All the Grand Council representatives, which are not him. Uh, Cavortus El Bunti is the head of the Imperial Guard, Duke Jurin's Palace Guard. Um, okay, none of them. <laughs> so that's none of the people that we needed. Apollos Matthias is is whoop. Let's check in the East Empire Company Hall. Uh, is he walking around by the docks? That's a good guess. Let me let me let me see. There's a guard. Let's hear it. Spanner till. Uh, that's obvious. That's an orc. <laughs> you can look at the name and immediately know it's yes. an orc. You know, like if there's hyphens in the name, of course, you may be Beautiful. looking at an Orzimer. You may be looking at an Orzimer. Why? Well, I, I don't see him out here by the docks. Um, I'm I'm gonna check the East Empire Company first. Well, that's the North Warehouse. He's probably not there. He's got adamantine armor. Okay, so he should stick out a little bit, right? Is he out? Is he outside? And Watch we're just uh, catching him on a off, <laughs> an off run. Is that racist? I don't think so. <laughs> I yeah, don't think so. Don't think so. Uh, maybe the main building. Is he the guy in the boat? He could be the guy in the boat. Let's let's check it out. Hello? Let's check it out. I don't know if I. I mean, this guy's not wearing adamantine armor. I can tell you that right here. Nope. Maybe the main building. Okay. Let, yeah, let's check out Castle Ebonheart. So what's this about? Also, how did uh, how did Apex go, Asha? <laughs> uh, six fishes. Actually, let's try the let's try the tavern. Let's hear it. You know, the tavern's always a good place to start. Is that Justin? 
Jocelyn. Oh my god. I was like, is that freaking Justin Bieber? I was about to cry. <laughs> oh my god. Jocelyn. Okay. And I was like, are you kidding me? Two wins carried both. There you go. There you go, baby. That's what we're talking about, man. You are the Apex legend. All right, we just walked. We're just walking in on these people. Do you know where Apelles Matthias is? Who were you playing, by the way? I think he's outside. All right, we'll try again. Yes. Pilius Amatus. I mean, that's like a revert. That's not, that's like a. You know, an acronym of his name. Inspecting the grounds. Okay. Inspecting the grounds. So he could be anywhere around here, I guess. You've got my ear. Let's oh, my that's not him. Okay, so inspecting the grounds definitely means he's here. Oh. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Okay. You violated the law. Um, pay five gold. Uh, okay. Try hard, Asha. Dude, he's always try hard. <laughs> you got to try hard, man. Especially if it's ranked, though. You can't blame him for that. Can't blame him for that, man. Uh, I accept this golden payment. All right. Now, tell me. Hey, come back here. Come back here. What are you doing? Uh, Dark Brotherhood. Perhaps you have been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here on Vardenfell has been almost unheard of. But I know they have a large contingent on the mainland. In Mornhone itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out for yourself. Of course, it's not easy to get there these days. Even though the blight seems to be gone, Mornhold is wary of visitors. There's one way you might get there, though. Speak with Asi and Rain about transport. She may be able to help you out. All right. Uh, she's a mage who arrived in Vardenfell the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke Drin himself. Nice woman. Powerful mage. We're a, pow we're a powerful mage as well. Um... I don't know what spell she learned that we didn't. Uh, you should be able to find her in the Grand Council Chambers. All right. And then can she teach me how to teleport? <laughs> All right. Onward and upwards. I want to learn how to teleport, guys. I guess we kind of have Mark and Recall. That's like sort of teleporting. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, yeah, I haven't figured out the Dark Brotherhood yet, and they keep attacking me. You have to you have to do Tribunal to get them to stop. Don't cry. They are incredibly annoying, though. Oh, my God. Uh, greetings, friend. What may I do for you? How about transport to Mornhold? You wish to go to the mainland? That's highly irregular. I'm sure you've heard that they've restricted travel to Mornhold. They've been a bit worried about the blight, even though it's reported it's gone. They're still worried about possible contamination. What's your reason... For wanting to go. Uh, I feel I've been marked by the Dark Brother. They, they've tried to kill me like ten times now. Talking to Apollos makes them stop. Really? If I had known it was that easy, I would have done it a million years ago. Sweet, sweet Moon Sugar. Reconfirmed Archmage. <laughs> oh my. I can see why you'd want that cleared up. Dangerous business, though. I can't say I'd be happy to send you off on a fool's errand. If you're sure, though, I can oblige you. If you need to return, speak with Efeta in the royal palace. Take care, friend. Those people are not to be taken lightly. All right. Goodbye, and hello, Mournhold. Oh, there's a little magic. Oh, the yellow immersion marker, everybody. <laughs> Mournhold, city of light, city of magic. Mournhold, city of light, city of magic. All right, guys. We are in Mornhold. We have arrived. Glory and honor, Emperor Let's talk about the and Barton Empire. Brotherhood. I don't know why you'd want to go looking for those demons. Some say they live in the sewers beneath the Great Bazaar. Uh, you'll find the Great Bazaar in the eastern section of town. You don't want any trouble, so mind your manners. All right. Also, I had to cook some tacos. My <laughs> my bad. Uh, no worries, man. You, you, no one. All right, guys. N stream, stream announcement. No one will ever have to apologize for cooking tacos. 
Never again. It is. It has been spoken. <laughs> Tacos are always acceptable, in uh, in my stream. Hellseth's chambers. All right. Uh, let's not go there. Well, the throne room. Oh my God. We are lost, but we're somehow in the throne room. Now I want tacos, sweet moon sugar. I think you know what you have to do, man. I think you know. Uh, it's in the eastern section of town. All right, someone in particular. Al Malexia, our Lady of Mercy, dwells in her temple. Her steward, Fedris Hilaire, is the Lord Arch Cannon. Okay, uh, that's not really helping us. Yeah, Larry would look good on the throne. <laughs> Larry, Larry would look... He'd look good on the throne. Dude, I am a freaking lost... Baron Zaya. Is this where the queen is? Is this Queen Baron Zaya? What? Is she in here? We just saw her in Daggerfall. Approach and be recognized. Oh my by God! Baron Zaya changed races. <laughs> okay, in, in Daggerfall she's white. I'm I'm not, I'm I'm not stroking out, am I? She is an Imperial in Daggerfall. That's wild. <laughs> uh, I am Baron Zaya. Were you confused about that? No, I wasn't. I I'm confused that you're a Dunmer now. Uh, not a group of people to be taken lightly. Their reach is far. Okay. I, I mean, we really don't need anything from her. Uh, we we really don't need anything from Baron Zaya, so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna scoot out of here. Oh, casual! Thank you so much for the host, man. How's uh how's Geralt doing? How's how's the Witcher treating you, buddy? Uh, Baron Zine, Baron Zine, is is there a difference? the guards quarters also shout out to uh, all of uh, casuals viewers hello hello welcome welcome just, just I'm coffee not I play speak. Elder Scrolls and I'm happy to have everyone like Nereverine it's an incarnation oh okay deep Emperor lore King there we go and hello hey man he is good doing bloody Baron quest oh my god dude that's one of the best quests in the game definitely I'm jealous, man. That is an awesome quest. Uh, lady, welcome back to stream, JD. How have you been? Emperor it's been a while. Uh, that quest is amazing. It is, 100%. Justice. That's not lore. I just made that up, by the way. See, sweet Lord moon sugar, Empire. man. You've said so much good stuff, though. I just have to believe you now. That's the problem. Thanks, Coffee. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. We actually finished... Uh, we actually finished the main quest up today, at the beginning of the stream, and uh, now we are doing some Tribunal uh, DLC. Okay, so that's the temple. We, we, we need to go to the Great Bazaar. Oh, that's awesome. It was. It was. You know, it always it always feels good to stick it to Dagoth or, you know, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Uh, these are all to the legions. I'm listening. You, sir. Where is the Grand Bazaar? Uh, well, he doesn't know. Warlord, city of light. Um, city of Great magic. Bazaar. You'll find it in the eastern section. We don't want any trouble. Okay. Let me check the world map. Well, I think we're actually just off the world map because we're in uh, Evanheart. A uh, stream going well so far. Yeah, man, it's going uh, really well so far. Like I said, we we finished up the main quest earlier. And uh, we just just began Tribunal DLC. Um, here's the Great Bazaar. So now we are hunting down. We are hunting down the Dark Brotherhood. In the sewers. Good to hear. Okay, J Jack, you've you've done the wither the Witcher, right? Oh, no. Yeah, you you you're just going back Let to hundred percent. Spoil my ears. So what are you gonna choose? What do you? Which way are you gonna go on the Bloody Baron now? You know, which which ending are you gonna pick? Uh, the Great Bazaar shop around. Can you tell me about the Dark Brotherhood? That's some sick armor. 
Uh, that's a touchy subject. I'm not comfortable with someone I don't trust. All right, well, let me fortify my personality. Mr. Nice Guy, here we go. Uh, I go about your business, but I'm watching you. All right. Dark Brotherhood. Uh, they live in the sewers in the Great Bazaar. All right. Well, we got we got the same info twice. All right. Uh, I decided not to turn the baby into a blubbering or whatever it is. I decided to take its blood to the peller. Okay, so you're doing the one that I haven't done. Uh, I don't know how that one ends up. I may, I may have to, you know, may have to stop by and see how that plays out. Can we get into the sewer over here? I don't think so. Does anyone know where the entrance to the sewer is? seem to be at a loss at the moment. We may have to go inside one of the buildings and check it out. Uh, I think these are all separate, though. Yeah, these are all separate dwellings, so it, it has to be outside, I'm guessing. Isn't there a manhole? That's, that's what I'm looking for. Just don't see it anywhere around. I just took it to the Peller, did the quest after that, and then ended. Okay, okay. I missed, I missed the great unveiling. <laughs> Lol at manhole. Yeah, <laughs> leave it to Hulkamania. There it is, there it is. Okay, now we got it. Well then, how did it end? Or anyway, it's late, bedtime for me. Uh, good night, mate, have a good rest of the stream. Uh, thank you so much, Jack. Thanks for stopping by, man. I hope you also have a great sleep. Have a good one, and I hope the... Uh, the Witcher continues to treat you well on whatever streams await you in the future. So, take it easy, man. Ahina does not know you. Ahina has nothing to say. Alright, let's fortify our personality and then, and then try again. Okay, she... Good friend. She actually... <laughs> 95 disposition. Still nothing to say. Alright, there's a bone lord over there. These are the palace sewers, but he said the great bazaar sewers, so. Ahina does not know anything, apparently. Yeah, no, apparently not. Oh, he's undead. He, he's undead. Frost. Frost is not the uh, best move right there. That's fireball. Alright. Ooh. That one went haywire. <laughs> I tried I tried to reel it back in, but man, once you press cast, you're committed. Okay, so so sweet moon sugar. And and any any other seasoned veteran of Morrowind. I gotta know. Who who's your favorite character in the game? I gotta go with Crassius Curio. Personally. Oh god. Uh, target resisted magic. Holy crap. But I'm interested to see if uh, any other viewers have other opinions. Uh, let's summon a Daedra. My thought is just like, you know, how do you beat Uncle Crassius? I mean, Dagoth Ur is probably second. But. Excuse me? Hey, hey, buddy. You see that ghost? The apathetic Daedra strikes again. The insane lizard with all the forks and knives. What? Who's that? I don't. I don't recall him. Oh, now you attack. There it is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head out. Uh, good luck with your dungeon delving. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by, man. I hope you have a great night, Cam. Uh, don't let uh, Asha rile you up too much. All right. Have a good night, man. Take it easy. Alright, what do we get? What do we have down here? What do we have down here? Wow! <laughs> that was a targeted attack. <laughs> you know, man, I you know, you, you get into that apex, you know, I don't I you win some games, you get a little loud, get a little crazy. You know, I understand, man. I understand. Okay, so that's the manor district. 
It's Shiagorath's servant. Oh, you talked to him during the Shiagorath quest. Okay. Okay. Dude, I loved um, in the uh, Ahe, the Ahe Musa uh, Nereverine quest when you have to clear out the temple uh, to Shiagorath. That was that was super cool. Uh, when you have to talk to all of his servants, <laughs> it's wild, man. Oh, this is to the palace sewers as well. We need to stay in the bazaar sewers. Hmm. We must uh we must have missed a turn somewhere. I think Shio. Shio is probably my favorite character in Oblivion. Uh, if I if I had to. If I had to talk about that. Yeah, pick a partner and dance. Yes, that. Exactly. Acetonic. Are you a player? Or are you a piece in the game? Am I, like, glitched on this? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hold up now. Hold up. I thought I, I thought I was glitched into the floor there for a second. You know, I can't put it past Morrowind. I mean, this game does what it wants, dude. Oh, well, we have a Bone Lord here underwater. I'm, I'm just gonna... Just gonna slap him. Since we are out of Magicka. Try, I'm trying to hold on to my last couple exclusive uh, Restore Magicka potions. Goodbye, rat. Ah, yes. Shiagorath, also known as Mr. Casually Threads to Pluck Out Your Eyes. Yes. I'm so happy, I could rip your intestines out and strangle you with them. <laughs> Best Shiagorath quote, in my opinion. Or, I'm so happy to see you, I could rip your intestines out and strangle you with them. I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. I mean, if someone could pull off a quote like that, I mean, they're, they're top five in, in any video game. I don't, I don't know where, where you say it. Beware the Black Dart Gang adventurer. They've robbed me of everything I hold dear. They ambushed my love and me in the temple sewers. Varener held them off while I ran, but I turned back to look he was down. I just kept running. Now his ghost comes to me at night, begging me to come and rescue him. He says he has a message for me, but I can't get down there. I can't face the gang. Uh, Varener was a great fighter, but with one dart, he was dead in seconds. They'd kill me for sure. I, I, I mean, Larry's a good guy. Larry's a good guy. I think we, uh, I think we gotta help. She looks you over carefully. You'll have no chance against them. They dress like beggars and they throw deadly darts. One is enough to kill you if you see them run. But if you see his ghost, speak to him. All right. Don't harm him. Listen and see if he has a message. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. And let's hope some uh, beggars don't attack us <laughs> with poison darts. Okay, so that's to the manor district. We must have missed... Uh, we had to have missed something around here. I remember there's some good taunts when talking to Daedra. Yes, there are, there are some particularly brutal ones. Yes. Uh, during the temple initiation, you're told to taunt to Daedra. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm thinking about. Sweet moon sugar. That is that is exactly what I'm thinking about. Lewd? Yeah, lewd's a good way to describe it. Lewd and uh, violent uh, mixed in one. <laughs> okay, so we, he said uh, they were in the Great Bazaar Sewers. Really just awful. Yeah, yeah. Did we miss a door somewhere? I'm not going to lie, though. When it happened, I was in such, like, you know, you don't expect it. And then he says it. <laughs> you just kind of are like, <laughs> what? Like, you just have to laugh or, or something. Like, it's just so out of the blue. Rated T for teen, by the way. Exactly. Exactly. Teen. Uh, so we're just, I guess we're just going to explore the palace sewers. 
This was the good old days. This was the good old days, man. <laughs> what the heck is that? I'm gonna save. That's a go- Oh, it's a goblin. I thought it said golem. I was like, hold up a minute. Goodbye. Goblin sword. There we go. <laughs> I would do some lewd thing to you, if you know what I mean. I, I think I know what you mean, Asha. <laughs> Settle down. I know I have a beautiful smile, but, you know. Uh, lots of games don't even bother getting raided anymore. Remember how I said I die a lot when I'm looking at chat? <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> and it crashes. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that goblin must have like crit us or something. That was ridiculous. Rip. Rip. Also, heads heads up. Um, I'm probably gonna probably gonna be ending for the night here in like twenty twenty minutes or so. Um don't you know? Don't like to hang up, giving giving everybody a fair warning. Oh God! Oh God! Is he gonna freaking? That will be the last time you mess with Larry the Mage. The very last. Your family shall hear of your treachery. Oh god, is he <laughs> Oh god! This is the last time. <laughs> Alright. This is a vendetta now. This is a vendetta now. Alright. Uh, ooh, what's the... Alright. Alright. He resisted it? Are you serious? Oh my god. He a big boy. There we go. No, no one deserves to even see you. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, unarmored mage against melee. Uh yeah, let's uh let's summon a danger next time. Let's summon a danger next time. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, yeah. His uh he has some damage. I'll give him I'll give him that. He has some damage. I guess uh goblins aren't in base games, so I'm not I'm not 100% used to fighting them yet. Not wasn't quite ready for uh the pain they dished out. Also, why why do skeletons have reflect? That's a that's a that's a question that I want to know from the devs. Like, come on, man. They I mean they're just bones. What what do they have to reflect with? All right, there we go. Goodbye, rat. All right, let's grab another heal. Oh my god, it makes sense. How does it make sense? What do all of the things that reflect have in common? They are skinny. <laughs> Bones are the source of the reflection. Oh my god. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> hey, but also... Are bones really skinny? Because they don't have any skin. They're just E. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> okay, back to the bizarre sewers, I guess. Okay, we went in a circle. True. That's right. That's true. What the 
as the outwell. All right, I'm a little confused. Maybe it's this way. I mean, it's got to be this way because we fully explored the other direction. Athletics to 41. Dude, Larry's getting fit. Larry's uh, Larry's taking after Don't Cry. He's he's doing his. He's doing getting up in his fitness levels. That's what you got to do, man. Potion of water breathing. Sweet. Wow, is this a dead end? Where are they? Holy crap. Okay, so we fully explored the sewers. Huh. Larry Sunder Smash. First of his name. <laughs> so that's where we came from. We came from the palace sewers. I mean, the only thing I can think is to go back and maybe we missed a manhole or something. Maybe maybe we missed a hidden passage. Because he said the Dark Brotherhood are in the bizarre sewers. Right? Uh, she had made a request. I met a Dunmer in the bizarre sewers. Her lover was killed. Okay, that's not it. I've told the Dark Brother is rumored to have a base in the ruins of Old Mornhold. That. That is the key. All right. I was looking for a free... Uh, <laughs> I should have just read my journal. I was looking for something that literally said uh, bizarre sewers. You know. But it is, in fact, the Old Manor District, which is uh, over here. Yeah, we gotta go under. Dude, we can jump something serious now. It's getting it's getting pretty impressive. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, moving on. So uh yeah, where, where we were, that ended up being right. I'm listening. Sorry, guys. <laughs> An honest mistake. Uh, enemies are nearby. Your journal has been updated. Okay. I have found the Dark Brotherhood's hideout in the ruins of Old Mornhold. All right. Well, let's just try and kill him now? Question mark. Let's get Sunder ready. Oh, yep, there they are. There they are. All right. Apathetic Daedra, go. Um, uh, let's actually do Cold Touch because they're probably Dunmer. Ooh, one shot him with it. There we go. Easy money. Just just finish him. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to take all their armor just because it sells really well. And it's super light. Um, there's a viper blade. Yeah, we'll take all that. 224. Yeah, we're good. Uh, you've killed a hundred of these guys before. What's a couple more? You're right. You're right. <laughs> We we've had a personal vendetta against uh, against the Dark Brotherhood for some time now. You know, ever since someone wakes you up in your sleep and uh, tries to kill you, I think you have a right. I think you have a right to uh, go after them. Oh, they're Dunmer. I forgot. I forgot. Um, let me get Frostball because they are resistant to fire. Oh, that's poison. That's poison. Alright, now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna watch me <laughs> kill your friend. <laughs> Alright, you're next. There we go. <laughs> Uh, let's... I'm just gonna dispose of him and see if I can take this guy's blade. 
I, I was hoping he had a... I was hoping he had a Viper Sword. Or a Viper Blade. I'm not going to take all of it, just because I want to leave a little bit room in my inventory. We can always grab it on the way out if we want it. No, I feel... <laughs> <laughs> the paralyze is so brutal. Oh god. Oh god, I forgot to heal. Okay, we reflected, thankfully. Uh, let me grab a heal here. Uh, failed to cast. Alright. I should have another... Yeah. I mean, we gotta do it. Uh, let's get the danger back out. There we go, there we go. Alright, one on one, I got him. <laughs> Unless he poisons me or something. Yeah, we're good. He's still frozen. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Uh, what's the damage range on Sunder? Let me see. 10 to 70. 10 to 60. 1 to 4 thrust. So, uh, just chop. Chop on everything, basically. Uh, definitely don't spam it. You're right, I could just hold for strong attacks. That's probably the better move. Did I grab the Viper Blade? Did I grab the Viper Blade? Oh, that guy just had a silver something. That's not exciting. Uh, strong attack for seven times damage. Yep, that's that's the smarter move. I always forget that. Uh, I get too excited, <laughs> I guess. Oh, what do we have here? Sithis. You have gained alteration skill. Okay. Uh, so they at least were reading a good book. Divine Metaphysics, we'll keep. Where, where's the book we just picked up? I'm actually just going to drop it. I have two copies. Oh, hey there. What's up, the free man? Welcome back to stream. Welcome back to stream. How are you doing today, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Whew. Um, okay, so we're technically in combat right now. I'm not sure where anyone is. Uh, doing good. Played a little D&D. &D. Hey, sweet, man. What kind of, um, what kind of character are you playing right now? Don't, don't get me started on D&D, &D, man. I freaking love it. Alright, there we go. Alright, he's done. You're done, too. All right, I'm still I'm still slow attacking. I I'll get it right. I'll get it right next time, sweet moon sugar. Uh, Paladin making a colonial knight. Nice dude. I don't know if I've ever played a paladin. Actually, so my first D and D character ever was in two E, and I was a dwarf fighter. Uh. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to charge very long just until animation stops. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm slowing it down now. <laughs> I'm slowing it down now. I'm trying at least. There is no escape. Oh, let's not. Let's not the rest of it. Oh god, uh, our they drew away. There is no I think I think we're dead here. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We made an escape. Um. Ooh. Uh, Freeman, are you, are you playing with uh, friends of yours, or are you playing at a local game store? Alright, let's 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 just cold hands for the one shot, hopefully. <laughs> Two shot, I guess. <clears throat> Whew. Uh, if you move diagonal, you will not thrust. Okay, good too. Oh, you're, you're playing on roll 20. Uh, playing with a guy I know online and randos on the internet. Nice, dude. 
I've done, I've actually done a Roll20 campaign before. It's a, that's such a cool tool. Like, I'm so glad they, they made it. Uh, it, I'm assuming you're using Roll20. I, I don't want to, I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> I know some people do it on Skype. Uh, I've always wanted to play a Roll20 campaign. It's good. I mean, it's a good tool, man. It, it works out good uh, for for the DM if, if, if he ag actually learns how to use it and use the Fog of War and all that. It's really powerful. Really powerful. Oh, please heal. Please heal. Oh, we got it off. 95% uh, of games I've played have been roll 20. Nice. Nice. Have you liked it so far? I assume since you uh, keep going back. It must be working out for you. There we go. I've only ever done one campaign on Roll20. Uh, it's been... It's been a couple years. Huh. Uh, we'll see. Session Zero got to know the players a bit better. True. True. And that's what uh, makes or breaks D&D, in my opinion. It's the group of people you play with. Like, if you have... If you have the right group of people, you know, even if you may think that it's not your thing, pretty much anyone can enjoy D&D. You just gotta get the right group. Oh my god, that was about ten people. Holy crap. Let me count the bodies. One, two, three, four. Uh, three rats, seven, eight. <laughs> eight people. Oh my god. That was a slaughter, dude. I feel I feel slightly remorseful. At least they weren't werewolves. Very true, Sweet Moon Sugar. Very true. <laughs> or vampires. Or master vampires. Uh, or what are what are the uh, the Daedra with the wings? Uh, the I can't remember. Oh my God! I can see him in my head. I just can't remember. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> it's named Sunder. Yes, Twilight. There it is. Uh, I take it this is the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Yes, it is, Freeman. So we finished off the main quest uh, earlier in the stream. So we have moved on to the DLC. Gave, gave Dagother, you know, what he deserved. Keep tanking for me, friend. <laughs> it's so nice to have a lackey. <laughs> oh, there we go. There are so many of them. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just a million. There's just a million of them everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god, let's, uh, let's grab a rest. Whew. Watch it, watch it be triggered, you know, watch it, <laughs> watch him come after me every time I enter and exit a building. Yeah, when I ran through here last, I was using Bound Dagger as my main weapon. Lots of clicking, oh yeah. It's clicking simulator. Will die. There we go. Even even with Sunder, we're having to do a lot of clicking. All right, I'm not gonna waste any magic on the rat. All right, we got two more, and I hear a guy off to my right. So let me let me hire someone. Hire, yeah, let me hire this stager real quick. Let me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap! There's just so many of them. <clears throat> Oh, well, we got the paralyzed down. Oh god, okay. Uh, nope. Oh, I think we may. Oh, never mind. I thought we were stuck. If we if we were stuck, that was uh, that's gonna be a tough one. 
Sir, I'm trying to heal. Please and thank you. He keeps staggering us. I can't, I can't even get my weapon out. There we go. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> one second. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me get my weapon out. Whew. Okay. Okay. I gotta be honest though. There is so much money just like laying on the floor. These guys armor, armor sets sell for like 5k plus each, don't they? Uh, the courtyard, Moril, Morgul. I think that's where we came in. Or no, we came in here. All right, let's do the courtyard. Let's do the courtyard. What? Whoa, hello. He was waiting for us. Two. There we go. Uh, with enough practice, you could pull a ton of money from this. Definitely. Or with enough patience. Yeah, yeah. You would just have to keep coming back. That's the only thing. There we go. Alright, well, let's heal it up. Come along, Daedra. Come along. The only thing is you just have to keep going back and forth and back. I guess you could mark and recall every time. You know, but you'd still have to... Oh my. Oh my god, what do we have here? Okay. Uh, I wonder if teleport spells work. You could mark in here. Yeah, that, that was my thought. Uh, that was my first thought. Actually, I'm going to use my levitate spell just because it's a little higher magnitude. We'll move a little faster. Not much faster, but a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than one. The uh, the other is uh, one. I'm CV out. Yeah. I did do that for one. Uh, one dungeon that had particularly good loot. All right, I'm gonna actually attach the enchantment just because it's quicker to cast in case this runs off. Um, I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, there, there, it wore off. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Okay, okay. Then, then what is this? What is this place? Is it up here? A uh, fun trick: you can levitate one on an enemy to make them near immobile. Uh, while you pelt them with spells. I have heard that trick. I have heard that, but I actually have not remembered to implement it. It is a little game-breaking, though, you know, if you sit and think about it. Like, levitate one, you know? That's an easy, easy spell to get. Adamantium boots. 7,000, okay. All right, we're dropping. We're dropping some for that. How, how heavy are they? Uh, ooh, what is here? For Shara, my dear. My dearest love, I have failed you, but how? I brought you sacks of corn comberry, crates of fine clothes, and chests of gold. But still you spurn my affections. I killed the traitor who robbed you, and still you refuse me. I have sat by your house day after day, rain or sun, waiting for a hint of your affection, but to no avail. I grow weary of this life since you have not yet arrived here to me. I can only assume the worst, that I will never feel your soft arms round me or watch you sleep without having to fear the guards that now patrol your land. Goodbye, my darling. Think of me fondly and often, and without reaching for your knife. Oh, Lord. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Lan, 2016. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you doing tonight? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, and uh, and Morrowind ourselves having a grand old time, and a uh, tribunal. I'm glad you decided to stop by. Uh, if you aren't picking up glass weapons, you probably shouldn't be picking up heavy armor. Shh. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right, Sweet Moon. This is why you're the arch wizard of uh, of of the stream now. <laughs> 
Uh, I almost rage quit this game today. I had to use a leveling cheat to not rage quit. Really, is it your uh, first playthrough? Or you, did you just ha have a particularly frustrating section? Because I've definitely had plenty of those. Definitely had plenty of those. Alright, I, I think we... Uh, I think we may have jumped the gun on the trying to fly up there. I'm actually not sure where we're supposed to go. Maybe this is just a dead end? Uh, when I first played, I used the built-in region cheats on Xbox. There you go, Sweet Moon. There you go, Sweet Moon. I remember when I first played this game, uh, I I used console commands. I went online and I, I looked up uh, how to console command. <laughs> so, so definitely no shame in admitting defeat. Uh, not, in, not in a game as complex as Morrowind. Is, this must be the wrong way. That's. I'm, I'm gonna grab a save over there. I'm, I'm gonna ch check through the other buildings. Well, what's up there? Let's see what's up here. Ah, here we go. It was a red herring. It was just to distract us. <laughs> uh, nope. All right, let's grab a heal. Let's grab a heal. Uh, I didn't want to cheat, uh, but I was hitting a wall. I mean, it's understandable, man. This this game does not pull any punches. Uh, I'm just going to cold hands him. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I love that that's a one-shot on Dunmer. Like, that is amazing. It's nice to have that, you know, secret little back pocket trick that we can always spring on him. That, that is one thing that helped me immensely. Uh, Jammy, if, if you're playing a mage, I don't, I don't know what kind of character you're playing, but learning the different elemental resistances that people have, you know, really helps when you're trying to, like, damage certain, certain, uh, certain races. You know, Nord's resistant to Frost, 75%. Dunmer, 75% to Fire. So you always kind of want to work around those. Okay, that's four for 5,000. And these are all 1.8 for four, so. I think this is a dead end over here. It is a dead end. We need to go the other way. Uh, nor just straight up immune to frost. Okay. I, you're, 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 yeah, you're probably right there. You're probably right there. I may, I may be mistaken. Mi mixing them up with Dunmer. Uh, the beginning. <laughs> Uh, I was getting killed easily, and I didn't have potions. You gotta, you gotta abuse the this mechanic right here. Rest. It's it's a uh, one of the only ways to survive early game. It seems. You'll get it, man. Like once once you kind of learn the uh, ins and outs, it's not too bad. Um, hmm. Alright, let's let's grab another save. I think we gotta get out of here. I almost restarted my game. <laughs> I've I've done that I've done that many times with Marwind. I've done that many times with Marwind. Uh, there's a lot to learn. Every playthrough gets easier. That is a hundred percent true. I mean look at look at the first VOD I had of this, you know, on my YouTube channel or something. I, I mean, I'm terrible because I'm I'm rusty. I'm coming back. I hadn't played this game in seven years, and uh, seven five years maybe five years, and then I come back and and try to uh, you know try and beat it with a mage, an Ultimer mage. <laughs> like yeah, my 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 first couple vods were pretty rough, or my first couple streams, I should say. Uh, can you rest anywhere? You can rest outside of towns and when there's no enemies around you. You can screw yourself over with poor skill choices in the beginning. Yes, if you pick a custom class and and not a pre-made, you can definitely kind of ruin yourself. Uh, you can only wait in towns unless you have a bed. Yeah, you can only wait, not rest. Waiting and resting. Waiting just restores your fatigue. 
Um, but resting restores fatigue, magicka, and health, as long as you aren't born under the Atronach sign. Uh, armor skill and a weapon skill, you're fine. True. Yeah, or an armor skill and a, a damage skill. Um. There is no escape. You will die. Like, in all honesty, I mean, 90% of this playthrough, we've done 100% with, uh, with just, just magic, you know. But you definitely need an armor and a damage skill. I won't feel guilty cheating my first playthrough. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Hey, but that's a good thing about a game this dense, you know. There there are multiple playthroughs, and you'll always discover something new every time. Uh, did we loop around? Okay, we just looped around, so. We missed. We missed something. All right, keep keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, mage is rough at the beginning. You almost need to exploit. Yeah, a hundred percent. Mage is very rough. You gotta rest. Keep keep your finger on that T key. <laughs> Definitely keep your finger on that T key. Uh, Aceton, thank you so much for the follow, man. Hope you've been enjoying the stream. Hope to see you back in chat anytime. Yeah, see you, man. Have a good sleep. Glad you stopped by. Hope to hope to see you again, man. Oh my god, these guys keep respawning. <laughs> Mages are very sleepy. They are probably the sleepiest class. Period. But uh, late game. Late game, they just get busted. <laughs> you can you can break the game a little bit with mages. Part of the reason they're so fun. All right, I don't think we've actually gone in there. Or have we? That may have been the first building we did. I really want to rest. Uh, late game mage is hard too. You're right, I guess we're not totally late game. Yet. You kind of just have to like approach things creatively, you know? Instead of just ramming your face into people hmm uh, I'm trying to get sleepy myself <laughs> in in real life or in Marwind oh yeah please don't resist the magic please there we go that guy's still considered nearby that's kind of annoying there we go. See, here it is. Rest until healed. Uh, enemies start reflecting and rushing you down. Yes. Oh my god. Reflection. Nerf reflection. Nerf reflection 2019. Uh, t the cheat I used was to level up times three. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not that's not as bad of a cheat. You know. I don't want to say bad, but but you can definitely break it more. You know, than, than just leveling up three times. <laughs> In real life. Well, um, I I don't know what to tell you there, man. Uh, take some take some sleep sleep medicine. <laughs> All right. So whatever we're looking for has to be in that other room, right? It has to be through here, because there's there's no other. Uh, I mean, there's no other way. Uh, through through here unless we're just missing something uh, read a book uh, drink some warm milk jammy um, that, that, that's that's my extent that's the extent of my ideas for getting tired uh, compare this to someone with a weapon skill and armor who can just face tank and click on things you're yeah yeah definitely moon sugar definitely that's that's true I've had a lot more Fun. I don't want to say that I've had more fun, but I have enjoyed the challenge of a pure mage versus when I did my two-handed, you know, bruiser tank. Uh, I can use Benadryl, but it's not working right now. I found that if I take Benadryl, it takes like an hour to kick in or so. 
<laughs> Jeez, there's bodies everywhere. Uh, what did you do? Well, they messed with Larry. That's, that's, you know, what can I say, man? Like, I'm I spare nobody. Mage has so much fun utility. Exactly. And alcohol. See, alcohol makes me sleepy, but I, I sleep poorly. Like, if, you know, it'll knock me out if I have enough. <laughs> but then I always wake up, so I, I, I never turn to that for sleep personally. I know some people do, though. This room, I mean, it's just too good. Like, there has to be something here, right? I love Marwind. I have never seen this weapon before. Double escapement. Welcome to the stream. And uh, this is uh, Sunder. So you get this from the main quest, but I do have a graphical mod on, so it may, it may look a little different than you're used to if you've uh, beaten the game. May look a little different. All right, I'm gonna try and look around again, I guess. I'm, I, I'm not sure where to go. Uh, the most effective way to sleep better for me has always been to exercise. Yes, exercise earlier in the day and just wipe yourself out. Uh, you won't rim with alcohol or Benadryl. That's why you sleep bad. Really? Even with Benadryl? Because I thought, I thought Benadryl, the chemical in it, just made you drowsy. Because uh, it's an antihistamine. All right, we're gonna levitate and check up again, and then if not, I may, I may consult the the wiki of, of all knowledge. Uh, are you in the end game? So yes, <laughs> actually earlier in stream we beat the main quest, and now we just start a tribunal, and we're in the Dark Brotherhood hideout now, and I'm looking for where I'm supposed to go. I've only beat Marwin once. Most of the time, I just mess around and try to get famous or infamous. Ah, infamous almost equally as fun as famous. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like you. I had only beaten Marwin once. Um, I beat it probably five or be, between five and seven years ago. I can't rem remember exactly. Uh, today was actually beating it for the first time in a very long time. All right, guys, this is just a, I mean, this is just a dead end, but what, where where do we go? I mean, I'm just going to drop that. Hmm. Not to hate on coffee, but it doesn't actually wake you up or give you energy. It turns off your parasynthetic nervous system. Hey, you're not hating, you're educating. That's different, man parasympathetic nervous system that that's some uh, hardcore biology right there my friend hmm all right guys uh, let's let's think about this what do we do because this room's a dead end this room's a dead end I don't know why you'd want to go looking for them some say they live in the sewers beneath the great bazaar. Uh, perhaps you've been attacked. That's not bad business. I don't know who wants you dead, but it's the Dark Brotherhood. Not a group of people to be taken lightly. Dang. Okay, so what do we do? I mean, we're here. We've killed a, a, a half a million Dark Brotherhood agents. But I'm sure that there's something we're supposed to accomplish down here. Uh, the more you beat the game, the more you realize... Oh, something just popped up over my chat. I'm sorry. Uh, the more you beat the game, the more you realize the ring at the end is kind of just okay. Yeah. It is it is just okay. Yeah, night eye, 20 seconds, restore fatigue, 3. Uh, you're good at saying long words, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. You know. <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Take that compliment. Certainly not a bad thing to be good at. Okay, there's an old metal door. Okay, okay, we found another passageway to go down. How well are you known in the world? Um, okay, this person looks different. Uh, let me summon my Daedra. Uh, I'd like to think I'm known pretty well. I, I mean, I'm Hortator, Nereverine, all of that. 
but I haven't done tons of guild quests. We've started a lot of guilds, not really finished a lot of guilds. You know what? I'm just going to paralyze him. I'm going to paralyze him. There we go. And grab a heal while he's paralyzed in case it wears off. Uh, once you get Azura Star and boatloads of money, the game changes, right? In Azura Star, you can constantly enchant off of it, right? Isn't isn't that the uh, the draw of it? I'm going to use Cold Hands because this guy's done more. Ah, uh, there it is. Goodbye. He has a ton of health, I must say. Uh, do you have any plans for another playthrough after this? I'm certainly interested in doing another one. I'm not... You know, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to suggestions. Um, I'm also... I'm... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because I could do, like, a challenge run or something, maybe. Or... I'm not sure. We are also playing Daggerfall at the same time, though. So, some of, some of the followers and viewers who may have joined in the more recent streams... Um, just in the last couple days. We also have been playing Daggerfall. Um, so I'm probably probably going to try and maybe beat Daggerfall next. You know, I'll still sprinkle in some Morrowind every now and then, though. Dire Viper Arrow. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, Misty Empty Vial. Yeah, let's grab a heal. Intro 1. Thank you so much for following. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the content, man. Man or woman. Man or woman. Don't want to assume. I just say man for everything. <laughs> Classic 20, 2019 guy. Uh, summoning Golden Saints. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's a reusable Grand Plus Soul Gem. And Jamie will be back. All right, man. I await your return. I will await your return. Also, I know I said it in 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes, I mean 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago, but I'm, I'm having fun, so uh, we're just going to go until I'm sick and tired <laughs> of Morrowind, I guess. I, I, I predict maybe another like 15 or 20 minutes. I'm, I'm enjoying this quest. I've killed Drandris Vulis, the leader of the Dark Brotherhood in Mornhold. As he died, he spoke to me. Tell my liege I have failed. Of whom Vulis was speaking, I have yet to determine. Perhaps there is some evidence in his chambers that might lead me to the one who wishes me dead. Okay, so we gotta we gotta scout out his room, actually. Uh, so you have your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nerve systems. One brings your heart rate up and the other one down. Parasympathetic also maintains homeostasis. Oh, here's a contract. There we go. Homeostasis, uh... Can, can you enlighten me on, on that? I'm not. Isn't that just like your body's uh, chemical balance? You know, keeping it in check? Um, it's been a hot minute since I studied bio. Summoning golden saints and sticking them in your star nets you con custom constant effect enchantments. I have heard of that exploit. I have heard of that exploit. You know, maybe we get there with Larry. Maybe we get there with Larry. The bearer of this document, under special dispension of the Night Mother, who has entered in a contract in perpetuity with H, is given if given special dispens <laughs> is given special dispensation to execute Larry, a high elf recently residing on the island of Ardenfell. In accordance with all laws and traditions, the aforementioned personage will be executed in the name of H, in the most expedited manner possible. All services of the Dark Brotherhood are at the disposer disposal of the bearer of this building binding and non-disputable document English is hard <laughs> uh, overtraining is actually overstimulating one of the parts of the autonomous nervous system I feel like there's more in this cave right right it does feel you know it does feel like there's supposed to be more but I think that I think that contract was what we needed I think that was that's what we were looking for uh, I don't really consider using summoning creatures, souls, and exploit. It's more of a feature. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. 
I kind of had to look at that with uh, with resting. You know, I wasn't used to resting all the time. With uh, you know, by using a mage, because it feels dirty, like once you first start doing it. But but really, I mean, it's it's meant to be a part of the game, you know. Oh God, there's two more. Oh God. Oh God, I didn't mean to fall off. What the heck? <laughs> Oops. Holy crap, that was close. Oh my god, did you see my freaking health bar? Oh my god, I probably caught that on one. I probably caught that on one health. That was ridiculous. Whew. Alright, now calm down, boys. And now you're gonna watch while I kill him. Oh, now we're missing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, you, ha 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 ha, you fell off, lols. I know, terrible streamer. Banned. He's, he's too bad at Morrowind. He's bad. Shut him off. Shut him down. <laughs> uh, I like trying to get clever advantages. It's one of the reasons I like a game like this so much. You're right. There are a lot of little, little features and, uh, mechanics to dive into oh my god there's just a thousand of them down here oh my god that that is so busted i can't even lie there we go there we go we just had to think about it you know think about it to get it to work Sunder says hello. Exactly. Uh, I should report my findings to a guard immediately. All right, let's get to a guard. The paralyzed enchantment is is what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds to do whatever you want. <laughs> you know, you can heal. You can bash their skull in, and they they can't do anything about it. You know what's a, a, a little fun, um, I guess, quirk that I, I kind of learned of? Uh, so, paralyzed, cure, paral cure paralyzed potions exist in Morrowind, but when you're paralyzed, you can't drink potions. So there's really no reason for them to exist. And you get more casts with a higher enchant skill. That is true. There's a cure paralyzed spell too. Exactly. Yeah, but you can't do anything. You're paralyzed. That's that's the point. <laughs> you know? Like, come on, man. Oh god. Okay. We ha we have a welcoming party. I didn't see him. Uh, we may. Yeah, we may die. It's a Oh my god, there's two of them. Holy crap. Dude, they ca they crank up the enemy spawns uh, in Tribunal. Oh my god. Like, in base game, I mean, you never fight this many freaking enemies at once. It's ridiculous. Get him, Daedra. Get him, Daedra. There we go. Uh, there is telekinesis, and you could use that to drink the potion. Could you? Are you? Are you? Is that? Is that a fact? Don't cry. If if it is, that's pretty intense. Have you played the DLC for New Vegas? They did the same thing. I have. It's been a very, I mean, even longer probably since I played Morrowind. Uh, New Vegas has has been. I mean, that's that's way back in my catalog. That is, a, that is a game I would love to play on stream as well. I would love to do New Vegas and Fallout 3. Um, I, may, I may actually look into those once we beat Daggerfall. Old World Blues is a bitch and a half. <laughs> I have heard that. I... 
I'm not sure if I beat Old World Blues. I'm trying to remember. God, it's been so long. It's been so long, man. I, I, I can't remember the my most recent playthrough of New Vegas, in all honesty. Because I had New Vegas on my Xbox, and I haven't had my Xbox for probably seven years, six years. The DLC ended my hardcore run. Dude, I tried to do hardcore in Fallout 4, and uh, I couldn't do it. I had to quit. I had to quit. Or no, I'm sorry. I, I, did, I did survival. I did the survival on Fallout 4. And uh, I quit. <laughs> to, to me, though, like, I, I, you know, I come to a Bethesda game looking for a certain kind of experience. And to me, survival in Fallout 4 just wasn't what I was looking for. I, yeah, exactly. Like, not being able to quick save. Uh, you know, having to manage... Having to manage food and water was fine, I guess. Permadeath. I did the permadeath. Um, the permadeath mode in Fallout 4. And I got 10 hours in. And it got too stressful. It, it just wasn't what I come to these kind of games for that particular experience, personally. Uh, you look like a guard. Are you a guard? You are an ordinator. Okay. Uh, go about your business. Uh, Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Uh, do we have to find an actual royal guard? We may have to go back to the temple. Yeah, I think we got to go back Justice. to the temple because these are these are temple ordinators, I guess. It's never easy. Or I'm sorry, back to the palace. Which way did we come from? There's the courtyard. So I think we came from the courtyard. So we gotta go back up here and then hop up on top. Uh, let's levitate. Levitation magic does not work here. I forgot we were in. See uh, to it. Forgot we were in tribunal. In New Vegas, hardcore was just survival mode with hunger and thirst. Okay, all right. That's that's easier to deal with. That's a little easier to deal with. Uh, which graphical mods do I use? I use the Marwind Graphics Overhaul. So, it's a pack of, of a bunch of stuff. I also recommend looking into Marwind Graphics Enhancer or Extender, as a sweet sweet Moon Sugar mentioned in my last stream. It also looks pretty good. I may I may switch to that in a if I do another playthrough just to you know change things up. Uh, okay, here's a guard. Here's a guard. Um, Dark Brotherhood. Okay, so what do I tell them? <laughs> I am the royal guard. Okay, he's the captain of the guard. Um, how about I have a murder contract and, uh, I kind of want you to look at it. <laughs> Isn't that what it says? Yeah, I found a Dark Brotherhood contract that marks me for execution. Uh, I should report my findings to a guard. Okay. Dondrus Vules. Maybe, maybe that's the prompt. Mm, nope. Okay, wow. What? Dark Brotherhood. Nope. Hmm. Good to see you again, friend. That's good to see you too, but I need a guard. Oh, no. Walk with Stendhal. Mm. Black Dark Gang. Magic. Yeah, they're deadly. Okay. Alright, uh, let's look elsewhere. Maybe not a royal guard. Uh, I used some extended and some skins for characters in the game world, but not the overhaul. Okay. Well, this is this is the full overhaul. This is uh. This is what it looks like. This is the the overhaul with everything cranked to eleven. <laughs> I I put it as high as I as I could. MGGO is pretty old at this point. The modding scene has been surprisingly active. Heck yeah. Let it never die. 
Hi there, wow, can you believe this place? It's just amazing. Everything's so beautiful. The shop, the buildings, the shops, the women. I'm blown away. We gotta see what the women uh, quest is. Uh, I mean, I've seen pretty women before, but I just can't get over it. I came from a small town to seek my fortune, as my father would say. <laughs> but, it's, but it's hard to get anything done here. It's just so overwhelming. I guess a little intimidating, too. I mean, what would any of these women want with me? It's hard to hope that I might meet the woman of my dreams. What the hell did that update? Uh, I have met Goval Rollin, a simple man looking for the ideal woman, but anxious about his chances. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's very deep lore, you know, right there. Goval Rollin is looking for women. <laughs> All right, this guy's shining. Maybe maybe he has a clue for us. No time to talk, High Elf. Excuse me. Okay. All right, I'm I'm really confused now. Uh, cause the quest says go talk to a guard. Um, I'm having my FPS uh, troubles with my FPS for some reason. Uh, do you have a newer computer? I mean, it, it could be it could be a performance issue. I'm not aware of any Marwin specific FPS issues, at least none that I've had. Hot damn, that guy is shiny. Oh, you know he he, he he's from the military. You know he he has to polish his armor every day and you know get up for good to see you again. Roll call and all that. Yeah, my computer's decent. Okay. Uh, maybe it's... I mean, it must be a mod thing then, I guess. Maybe try a clean install and see if that helps. Yeah, none of this. What the heck? Okay, I'm about to just look up who we should talk to. All right, this is weird. Do I have to go back to the mainland and turn it into a guard? I would assume it'd be a Mornhold guard. Uh, the heaviest thing on MGE is render distance and GTX 750 Ti graphics with Intel i3. I mean, the i th the i3 the i3 could uh, maybe maybe slow down Morrowind, especially when you start throwing a bunch of mods on. But I'm not sure. All right, I'm just gonna look up. Justice just gonna look up who we sh who we should talk to because we've business? talked to the guards and the ordinators. I guess uh, tribunal. Uh, talk to guard. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh no, is it a quest bug? Uh. Okay, since you went right into Mournhold, killed the leader. Didn't talk to a guard about it. So, that part of the quest is optional. So, even though we won't talk to you, there's no reason to worry. Okay, okay. It says, this person, we can go to the temple and maybe talk to someone. Okay. Let's try that. This says, go to the temple and talk to someone. Uh, otherwise, it's a quest bug, which would be really, really upsetting. <laughs> just just bug out, you know, part of the DLC. I have I have had game breaking quest bugs though. I I did I was playing Skyrim, in my uh, I guess my, my earlier streams a couple weeks ago. We had a stealth build Khajiit in Skyrim. And my Dragonborn DLC quest bugged out to where I couldn't beat it, ever. <laughs> and my Thieves Guild quest bugged out to where I couldn't beat it. Oh, the immersion marker. I clean this temple, Sarah. Mind you keep it that way. Uh, the Chief Steward of Amalexia. You can find him in the reception area. Okay. Amalexia. Fedris Heller. Amalexia okay. be praised, Sarah. You're the one who was recently arrived in Mournhold from Vardenfell. I was told of your arrival. I understand you had some problems with the Dark Brotherhood. An interesting group and rather effective. I'm surprised you're still alive. Perhaps you have potential. Or are they sent incompetence? I believe you might be of service. Okay. 
I am always aware of those who might be able to serve Our Lady Amalexia. Few are worthy to do so. The temple in the city is guarded by the high ordinators, and the hands fulfill other duties for the lady. I am the chief steward, Fredris. Now, if you wish to be of use, we have matters to discuss. All right. Okay, so we're getting a little progress here. We're getting a little progress. Uh, see y'all later. Night. Good night, Jamie. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope to see you in chat some other time. And I and I hope Marwin starts obeying and starts running well for you, man. Uh, good luck out there. You'll you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll you'll conquer this playthrough. I promise. Um, perhaps you have already met young King Halalu Helseth, a foul man unworthy to sit on a throne. Still, he holds the right of succession. The lady must keep an ever watchful eye on this king, though, lest he do something that would be deter detrimental to the temple. Or perhaps all of Marwind. There are concerns about new recruits. Okay, here we go. This man pierced his tear ducts. Oh my god, he did. Dude, that's metal. Dude, me sweet moon sugar, that's metal as hell. Holy crap. Uh, a standing army is nothing new in the city, though it is largely unnecessary. Mornhold is protected by our walls from outside and by our lady Almalexia from within. None would dare mount an attack here. Still, tradition dictates the king maintain an army. We believe that Helseth is raising a different sort of army. A goblin army. <gasps> Good God! A goblin army! Foul, vicious creatures. No wonder Helseth has chosen them to be his foot soldiers. I know that the goblins are being trained nearby, though not where exactly. Ask around the city about goblins. Someone will know. I wish for you to find the goblin training area. When you do kill the war chiefs, there should be two. Sever the head of this army and the rest will shatter like a scrib. You might rid the city of two Ultima trainers as well. Complete this task and the lady will be pleased. All right. All right, we have a quest. Aha! <laughs> Traditionally, the Ultima have used the goblins to reinforce their armies. Rumor has it Helseth has contacted two Ultimers to train his goblin army. All right, so uh, let's get some dirt. Let's get some dirt on goblins. Let's go ask around the city. Tell me everything you know about goblins, ma'am. Uh, I don't even like to think about the vile little beasts. All right, moving on <laughs> to the next person. Yeah, lol. Yeah, right. Uh, who's next in line to pierce their tear ducts? Not, not this guy. Not this guy. I'll pass on that one. That, that guy is too hardcore for me. Goblins in Mornhold? I've heard some odd stories of creatures in the sewers beneath God's Reach, but I never thought they might be goblins. Terrible creatures. All right. Let's find out where that place is. God's Reach. Specific place. Uh, you're in the courtyard now. South is the palace. Southwest to God's Reach. S Southeast is the Great Bazaar. Okay. So, Southwest is God Reach. So, this, this way. Alright. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do... Probably going to get to God's Reach... Uh, probably gonna get into the sewers, and then I'm probably gonna end stream. And I'm serious this time. Because <laughs> I said we'd end, what, an hour ago? And here we are, right? <laughs> Having too much fun, man. Okay, but what if a goblin attacks you? All right. Gods grant you justice, sir. All right, we'll kill the goblin if he attacks us. Easy, easy question. I will take kill the goblin for 100, Alex. Uh, here's the sewers. The residential sewers. I mean, I'm assuming... I mean, this is God's Reach, so these must be the right ones. Uh, let's look around. Not much, not much going on here. Alright, alright. Alright, sweet moon sugar. We'll kill, we'll kill a goblin, and then I'm off for the night. Oh God, there's like five. All right, let's clear this room. Let's clear this room, and then, and then we'll kill it. We'll we'll call it. Um, are they? They resisted my spells last time. Oh my God, their walk is freaking hysterical. All right, why are the goblins reflecting? That's 
a freaking travesty. Alright, we need to summon him again. They freaking killed him. Oh, that's sound. Uh, let's get admonition. Oh, not enough charge. I forgot to charge. <sighs> Ooh, this is going to be awkward. Yeah, I'm probably dead there. Okay, yeah, I forgot to uh, charge my items. That's that's awkward. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, man, let's forget about that one. Although I can't I can't charge my items cuz we're in town. Uh, I can't I can't rest. What did I just do? Oh, I accidentally levitated. Good thing you saved. Dude, always save before a loading zone in Morrowind. Without fail. Without fail. Why do I have a 20 pound goblin sword? <laughs> do we use the last restore magica? I mean, I don't want to use it, but... All right, actually, let's... Here we go. There we go, let's let's make a wall of Daedra. And uh, let's get up here. I'm gonna scroll. Um, I think we have elemental burst, yeah. Holy crap, they one-shot him. What the heck? Go, go, go. Fly, Larry, fly. Oh my god. Uh, don't they charge when you wait, too? Do they? That That is a good thing to know. I actually don't know that. I, I, I'm not much of a enchant user all right I think this is the move just fly over them <laughs> okay so it takes four goblins to kill a golden saint yeah they charge in real time okay perfect perfect good to know well, we will <laughs> let's let's grab some rest uh, before we end stream so that we come back and everything's nice and topped off. Uh, enemies are nearby, so something spawned. Or what is this? Is that the trainer? Or is that the Black Dark Gang? I'm intrigued. Oh god damn it. Okay, we're gonna figure out what it is. What the heck is going on here? Alright, we got a naked guy. And some Dunmer and glass armor. Sunder just has a billion points of charge. It does. It does. Um, okay. That is shiny armor, dude. It is. Alright, uh. Alright, let me save. I'm assuming they're gonna attack me as I, as I walk up, right? Nope. Okay. Excuse me, Sarah, but you're the Nereverine and a big hero. I don't really know how to talk to important folk like you. Okay. Well, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, what do you, what do you- Welcome to my world, where we do things. What are you doing with this man? Excuse me. You don't want to talk to me. Talk to the boss, Drothus, okay? Where's Drothus? I let the boss do all the talking. Drothus, what's going on, man? Uh, let's speak to this guy. Is he a slave, I'm guessing? I'm guessing he's a slave. That's that's my immediate I thought. I let the boss do all the help, talking. Help! Help me! Can you ask your question quickly? Are you being mugged? You're damn right I'm the Nereverine. Heck yeah, dude. Help, help me. Uh, 
Okay, do I look out for my Dunmer uh, compadres here? Or do I help the naked guy? Oh, hello. Uh, did you want something? Oh, he's a slave. Yeah, he's a slave. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's got the bracers on. All right, sorry, buddy. I can't. I can't help you, friend. I mean, I could, I guess. But isn't that breaking the law? Isn't that technically a crime? Larry, Larry's Larry, if for just for roleplay purposes, is a pretty good guy. I'd like to think. Also, we're gonna stun this goblin and kill him. Look at that face. What a, what a guy. Uh, did I randomly find that dude because it's part of a mission? Yeah, I just kind of randomly stumbled on him. Just kind of randomly rolled up, and uh, he was there. If it's if it's part of a mission, then I'll, I will leave it to be. Holy crap! What is that? A Durzog. Okay, I will remember that. Durzog meat. Only seven. Okay, so. Although they look cool, not very expensive. All right, guys. I've said it. I've said it about a million times now. <laughs> We're actually going to do it. We're actually going to end stream. So, wow, we beat the main quest. Holy crap, we actually did it. Pure Mage playthrough. Complete. Boom. Oh my god, thank you for everybody uh, for stopping by. Every, everybody who stopped by chat. Uh, always, always a pleasure. I hope everyone has a great night. Uh, any lurkers out there, if you liked what you saw, uh, be sure to follow. I stream I stream most days and uh, usually get, around, get on around 7.30 or 8.30 Eastern Standard Time and then continue till about now. Um, so yeah, I think next time we're going to be streaming Daggerfall. Uh, we're going to be continuing that playthrough. Since we beat Morrowind technically today, um, I think I'm just going to be sprinkling in Morrowind now. And uh, I'm going to try and beat Daggerfall next. So, um, thanks everybody for stopping by. I hope you all have a great night. Rock and roll. It was a good time. We beat Dagoth, baby. <laughs> Coffee Nut out. All right. Y'all have a good one.